Hello. Oh, goodness. How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> Sorry about being late. My uh, son had a basketball game, and then we went out to eat after, which I didn't know about. <laughs> so uh, it put me in a rush getting back here to uh, get everything set up and go live. But I'm sorry I'm late. Hope everybody had a great day. Uh, what's going on, Cody Landon, Chris Brio, Bama Nations in here, Mickey Trimmer, Ryan Zimmerman, Brian Phelps, Duane Baker, Christopher Neely, Abraham Mendez, and we got Cody Lowry, Bradley Simmons, Neil Ryan, Welcome to the show. We're on a brand new map tonight. And before I miss it, because the chat's rolling, I want to make sure we say thank you to Mr. Jacob Nunkstia. Coming in with the five gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships going to Cody Lowry, Neil Ryan, Scotty Carpenter, Steve Luddington, and Keith Stone, all getting a gifted membership from the one and only Jacob Nunkstia. Uh, so make sure you tell Jacob thank you there. I uh, hope everybody's doing excellent day. What's up, John McKinley? Rich Caruso. Uh, we got uh, Ryan Boltz and Chris Smith, Aaron Later, Tom Kelly, Philip Deem, and Deer Hunter Brett. Even Isaiah Lewis is here. That's early for Isaiah. He usually doesn't stop until later. Uh, Sam Shawby, how you doing? Mandy McKinley and David Turville, Dylan Martin. Hello, Tyler Eckerman. What's going on, Tyler? All right. So brand new map, it's called Bally Spring. It's by Irish Connor, I believe is the name of the modder. And uh, it's set in Ireland, which is where Irish Connor, I believe is from. I don't know if this is a real life map or if it's just something from his imagination, uh, but it looks beautiful. I'll show you a picture of the uh, map. Uh, there she is. It's got a lot of fields, but uh, mostly grass fields. Ireland is known for its lush green pastures along the coast of the ocean. Uh, but either, anyways, that's all grass. There are some arable fields, uh, which we're gonna turn one of our little fields into an arable field. And then we got, we own a lot of grass, so we're gonna be fine. But a uh, big, big size map, and it's called Bally Spring. So there you go. We do have precision farming enabled, and I already bought the land that I own. This is the land that comes with it when you start up on uh, new farmer mode. I sold all the equipment on new farmer mode and replaced it with my own equipment. Haven't used any money cheats, but we have like everything we need. So uh, here's a look at the old house. We're up here and we do have a doggy. Let's give him some food here. I don't know where he's at. We'll see if he uh, shows up here. I'll just say that's Rex. Uh, did your son's team win? Uh, no, no, no. They got annihilated. I'm not going to say much about that. My son did awesome. He played his heart out. Did great. Uh, we were sh didn't have very many players to rotate. And the other team had like 20 players. So it, it, was, it was rough. But uh, he played his heart out. He did great. Uh, what's up, Shawnee? David Ayers, game... F Whoa! Game Farmer, what's up? That dog just catapulted over the... St oh, Stone Fences, Ireland. Like, any time I think of Ireland, I think of fences made of stone. Uh, we also got tractors. Look at the AI traffic. Got tractors running down the road here. Hauling some manure. Yeah, nice little tight lanes. We do have to drive on the left side of the road on this map, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there's the uh, entrance to our house. I don't have a vehicle or a truck yet. I just have this little Mahindra to run around in. We're not really going to be leaving the farm a whole lot. This is a dairy cow farm, which is one of my favorite uh, animals to take care of. So I'll give you a quick little tour. It's not a big big farm it's very 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 small equipment there's one of our grass fields there all of them are ready to be cut and uh we got some old school equipment all right so we uh make our way in here this is the entrance to the farm all the shelters the you know the sheds the equipment uh my daughter had a game tonight they won 27 to 4 seven and eight year olds nice uh, can't win them all. No, Tom. No, no, no. Uh, question. Outside of the mod hub, where is the safest place to get mods from? There really isn't a safe place <clears throat> outside of the mod hub. 
you're gonna have to navigate around viruses and just know how to click on the right thing. I've been doing it for so long, I just, each type of upload or download site, I just, I've just learned how to not click on the wrong thing. But the mod hub is really the only safe place to get mods, in my opinion. Uh, what's up, Channing Hensley? How'd I know we'd be cutting grass? Be cutting lots of grass tonight. So there's our uh, grain trailer. <laughs> this tells you we don't have... Uh, that's our grain trailer. There you go. So lots of cool old shelters. Everything looks pretty weathered in here. I'm just going to park this. There's no reason to uh, drive through here. We'll just walk around and show you everything. Uh, here's our harvester. Uh, we are in Ireland. I'm trying to do some more, uh, you know, foreign tractors we're not used to seeing. We got a class dominator. Just a tiny little thing. There's the header for it. And then look at this. Old Massey. I mean, old, old, old. I think this only has like 35 horsepower. But it's going to be perfect for cutting grass with a little sickle bar, which I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, then we got, uh, this is our front end loader tractor with, with the front loader attachment. It's a nice little case. Sharp little tractor. This is our straw shredder. So we can just stick a bale in there and it'll chew it all up and make straw bedding for the cows and we can connect that to any of our tractors that have a front attachment or a rear attachment i guess uh, this is where you uh, get your milk from your cows load your milk up bale wagon what's up lucas smith uh mr fall ice lane hello uh mayonnaise and jellos in the house <laughs> uh david optisat answered that uh, let me see. Look who showed up, says Duan. Oh, is Kevin in here? What's up, Mr. Flores? And then I had to have something a little modern. This is a nice, uh, li tiny little New Holland. We can use that for all kinds of different stuff. And then uh, we got a, a Dutz Faw. Nice little tractor there. I think that's the most powerful, powerful tractor on the farm. So uh, that'll be used for, like, plowing and, you know some field work not that we have much of that here's our little manure spreader little new holland manure spreader this is where manure will form we already got some uh turds ripening in the in the concrete <laughs> uh good evening john robinson how's it going there sir and uh let me see how did i know we'd be cutting 12 hours, 12 hours on the farm mr farslein my oh, goodness did you uh get the wrapping thing figured out or have you not needed to use it yet Anybody in the chat have has anybody in the chat used this map yet? It's called Bally Spring. I've been watching uh, one of my favorite streamers, uh, Farm Sim Guy. He's done a few episodes on it, and it just looks nice, nice and tiny map. It's little little fields of grass to take care of your cows. This will be for solid fertilizer or lime. I think that does both. It's a Kubota. And then there's our driller for seeds, just like a little three meter uh, seeder. Uh, we got, we, we've got a big one right here. We got Mike Stilts. Goodness, laddie. <laughs> Mike Stilts coming in with the $100 super chat. My goodness, Mike. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Thanks, thank you so much, Mike Stilts. Always coming in hot. I'll tell you what, Mike. You demand, you demand. Thank you so much for the uh, massive support, man. You know I, you know I appreciate it. Massive bomb from Mike Stilts. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Tom Kelly also celebrating two months at Jack Wacker Level One. Thank you very much. Not bad, not bad. Uh, just called me a turd. Well, wouldn't be the last time. It won't be the last time, Mr. Fireslane. Oh, man. Thank you so much, guys. What's up, Chris Goers? How are you, buddy? Philip Dean, Game Farmer. Ivory Ortega is back in the house. Hello, Mr. Stearman. So here, here's our cowsies. We got a bunch of them. And, uh, yeah, we got some calves. 
And we got mature calves, or cows. So I'll show you what we have. We have 40 cows so far. Um, you can see here you can purchase calves, which are like zero months. It's like they just were born. They're only 200 bucks. They're not going to produce milk for 12 months. Uh, so right now we have heifer. And then we have our cows, Holstein cows. So yeah. And they're hungry. They got a little bit of food already. So we don't have to uh, worry about them real quick. There's their slurry fill up. Um, hi, Frosty. How are you and the family doing? Doing good, Daniel. I'm sorry I ran late chat. Uh, basketball game. Then we went to dinner with friends that were at the game. So a little, little rushed getting home. So I apologize. Uh, this is where I'll store bales. And I guess... Oh, here's my little mixer. Look how tiny this thing is. I think that's off the mod hub. This thing is so little. We might upgrade that. I don't know. I just wanted to try it out. I feel like I've used it before. Oh, you know what? This might be the one we had troubles with on uh, that one map a long time ago. That might... Yeah, well, we'll find out, I guess, huh? Uh, back here is where you store all your grain. You back in here, dump anything you harvest. And then this is where you load up out of the pipes. And then here is our slurry tank spreader. It's a Marshall tank. And check out this uh, slurry pit. This thing is sweet. Look at that beast. I don't know why we need to uh, ever open that. I guess if you want to go swimming, but that's a big old pool of slurry. Uh, what was for dinner? We did, we went to CC's Pizza. The kids all wanted to go to CC's. Um, Bradley Simmons, thank you for the eight months. Crazy Jack Whacker level three. How time flies, he says. Eight months. Very nice. Thank you very much, sir. I think you used that mixer on the... Yes, that's it, Matt Cornish. Old stream farm map. And... I might have been the one messing it up, <laughs> but I think it's a mixer. We'll find out. But uh, anyways, yeah, you don't want to fall in there. But you might get a little stinky. I got to work on my Irish accent because <clears throat> we're on an Irish map. I got Oof. All right, let me think here. Anytime I think Irish, I think uh, Conor McGregor. Hey, wrote back. Wait, <laughs> I'll have to think about it. All right, here's our other uh, other equipment. We got a wrapper. We got a Mikhail F3, uh, F550 baler, round baler. Look at this cool little New Holland wind rower. It's not big. I told you, these fields are tiny. Uh, then we got a little tether. That's to uh, flip the grass over to dry. We got an Alice Chalmers plow, an old John Deere sickle bar, and then a uh, mod hub. I think this is some, I don't know if that's Polish. That looks like Polish. That's our roller. Yeah, we're loaded up with our equipment. And that's, that's it. That's a tour of the farm. <clears throat> so I think to get started, this is the one field I want to turn into an arable field to provide straw bedding. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's put up all this stuff. Like I said, we do have um, precision farming. So bottom right corner tells us pH is okay, but by the time we plow... Um, actually, we're going to cut this grass. We'll cut the grass, then we'll plow and turn this into a field. But first we'll take advantage of the grass. So we get to get our lawnmower connected or our tractor to our sickle bar. Fire up the old Massey Ferguson. This thing's so tiny. It doesn't even have a horn. <laughs> oh, this thing's cool. And off we go. What's up, Mark Libby? Take a swim in it, Frosty. No, thanks. It looks nasty. 
Uh, good morning, Mr. Frosty. Hope you are well. And this cold and stormy morning across the pond in Scotland. Stephen, I'm trying to... I need to get down a good Irish accent. Is there anyone Irish in the chat? Are there any, like, hardcore Irish people in the chat? I... I... I oh. Isn't, uh... What's his name? Ah, uh, what's the guy from, uh... The Rock, Alcatraz. Sean Connery. He's Irish, right? He talks like this. I, did, I, I don't know if he's Irish. I think he's Scottish. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what's up, Brother Frosting Chat? Sorry I'm late. Oh, I don't want a roller. We want to cut the grass. Uh, Mark Libby, thank you for the $2 super chat there, brother. Says, good evening, Frosty. Well, thank you very much, Mark Libby. Thank you very much. I'm going to hook up to this little sickle bar right here like that. We're going to cut some grass. I think the sickle bar only requires, like, 15 horsepower. <laughs> so this thing just drops and, like, vibrates, and it's just enough to cut the grass. Old school here. So we're going to kind of go around the edge. And then once we get like a lap around, then we'll go to the outside so we're not driving over the grass. But once we get this thing activated, I'll try to give you a good view here. And just kind of see the jaws. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but they're going back and forth. It's just kind of hard to see. Can you can you see it sorta? Of? It's hard it's hard to show you cuz I can't zoom in on the the angle of it. But anyways, it's it's working. I promise. It's working. And there we go. Bada bang bada boom, buddy. To perfect your Irish ox ac accent, uh, say these four words. Whale, oil, beef, hooked. You're setting me up for disaster. I ain't reading that. But yeah, if I was like Conor McGregor, let's see. <laughs> Mate, you, you don't even know. I'll knock you out so fast, i smock you. Yeah, I'll smack the hairs off your chin like it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't break my leg. I fell and slipped and it broke. You didn't do that. <laughs> Is that good? No. Oh. Probably not. If anyone Irish is in the chat, they're probably gonna unsubs unsubscribe. They'll be like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> oh, I love Conor McGregor though. He's funny. He's a funny man. He got Dusty Lands extension on. That's why you see some green dust coming from behind the cutter. There we go. Little, little dusty out there, huh? All right, mowing. We're mowing, Chris. Uh, let's see. Why? Look at here, mate. Poot toot. <laughs> What's up, Paul? Yeah, we're in nowhere near Ohio tonight. Last night we were in Ohio Richlands. Tonight we're in Ireland. Just gonna clean up these little patches, widen that out a little bit. And we're probably gonna turn this into either a wheat field or like a barley field. Something that we can bale to get some straw bales. There we go. Get right up on that fence line. How about that old uh, Massey though? Cool little tractor. Alright. That folded up. Now we're gonna turn around and drive on the part we cut. Which I believe is the proper way. lowered. There we go. Uh, let me see here. Thank you again, Mark Libby, for that $2 super chat. 
Uh, what's up, Jeremy Quam? All that dust makes me want a sneeze. Love your imitation of him, says Tom. Uh, I traveled far. I took a boat. Uh, Chris Goers, thank you for the 499 super chat. That's Mistifer. Mistifer? Did I just say Mistifer? It's gonna be a rough night talking, chat. <clears throat> I just called him Mistifer. Chris, thank you for the 499 super chat, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, I love Connor. I can do better than that. <laughs> you, mate, you couldn't hit you couldn't hit the broadside back end of a cow. That's how bad your aim is. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me. I'm Conor McGregor. I'll smack your face off, laddie. That's not bad. Is that what an Irish guy sounds like, or is Connor not really sound Irish? Uh, I can't. I can't keep track with all these different accents. You know, it's rough. There we go. How about that sickle bar, though? Nothing wrong with a little bit of old school cutting. Look at that. that thing works great. Got all the rust on the, uh, the console, the front console here where the gauges are. That's all rust. This tractor's been through. Uh, a few working sessions in its lifetime. Very cool. Uh, do your imitation of... Oh, I can't do that now. Family friendly. But yeah, just imagine... Uh... Yeah. Like Took. Like, she took the ball from the boy. That's how he says that word, only with an F. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up, Chris Lynch? How are you? Drink a bottle of whiskey and then get back to us, says Kevin. Is that, will that make it sound better? I watched your stream from last night. Great stream, says, well, thank you. We bought a brand new tractor on the uh, Ohio Richland series last night. We got a big old warrior, Dutes warrior. Got rid of the old John Deere 4755. We had like 10 hours on that and uh, finally sold it. All right. Sickle bar is sweet. Look at that. If you zoom in on that, look at the belt spinning. That's so cool. I like the old equipment. We were talking about like how much it would cost to like get into farming. The affordable way is equipment like this right here. An old old equipment, an old tractor, an old little sickle bar. <laughs> like there there's Affordable ways to get into farming, like a, like this type of farming, making bales or something. What's up, Miss Fire Slaying? It was a nice tractor. You liked that, didn't you? I forget what color we went with last night. Did we do that, like, that hunter, that matte green, or did we do the matte black on the Dukes Warrior? Can't remember. So uh, putting the bucket over the basketball hoop cement concrete that I did worked. No damage done from that downpour we had. Everything looks good. It's already hardened up nice. We just got to let it do its uh, curing process. So I was happy to, very happy to see that it didn't get like ruined from the, the hard rain we had yesterday. All right, I think we just got that little patch down here to hit. Listen, listen to this tractor. It's not really that loud. Every modded tractor seems to have like different volume settings.
Yeah, this thing worked great. I'm just gonna double check that I made like a round field. <laughs> Kinda want it to be rounded on the edges. Because we do have a stone wall to contend with. Yeah, we'll just kind of nip this little corner here, round it out nice. And that'll be it for our, our first created field. There we go. Beautiful. What's up, Dustin Johnson? Welcome back. Tired, just got home from working an almost 12-hour shift. Well, don't worry, Miss Firesland. Mr. Firesland farmed for 12 hours while you're gone. So I'm sure there's dinner on the table ready for you. A hot bath with rose petal trails leading to the bathtub. You're going to be fine. I know that's what you probably walked into. But I hope you had a great day and you're ready to relax and watch some big, big frosty. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Nowadays, it's almost not feasible to start farming. If you're talking like the whole deal, yeah. That's what I've heard. Oh, what's up, Ivan Dockery? Every time I see Ivan's name, I think of Irish, like Ireland. Ivan Dockery. Sounds like an Irish name. Come here, Mr. Dockery. We have some explaining to do, don't ya? We can't do a U-turn in this uh, shed. <laughs> Barely. Uh, yeah, okay, they didn't even leave me anything to eat. Ouch. All right. Never mind. Let's just pretend I didn't say all that. Sorry. Yep, we'll just pretend I didn't say nothing. All right, let's detach this. And uh, what are we doing next? We, we have zero bales. Here's the thing. We, we got tons of stuff. I mean, tons of fields. So we're going to have to make a little bit of everything tonight. Um, we'll have to make some hay bales and wrapped bales. Which which one you want to start with, chat? Do we want to turn the this grass we just cut? Do we want to tether it, windrow it, and make hay bales? Or do we want to windrow it, bale it, and wrap it? Either way, we're going to do it on a different field. But how, what do you want to start out with? Uh, in the Tier 3 farm, still live, as couldn't find it using the details from Members tab on the YouTube. Yes, I put everything in there the other day, Chris. Yep, if you're Tier 3, uh, it should give you the details, buddy. Uh, let's see. Doing good, says Ivan. I think of Hickory Dickory Dock. That too. That's right. Uh, what's up, William Bone? How are you? Uh, Frank says raking. Come on, chat. Tell me. What do you want me to do? Hay bales or wrapped bales? Nobody's saying nothing, huh? Fine. Figure it out myself. Make your wrapped first so they can start fermenting. Thank you, Jacob. That makes sense. All right, we'll switch tractors for that. Let's go park this up. Uh, we'll use... Maybe we'll use uh, that little New Holland. Yeah, we'll use the New Holland to do the tethering and bailing and all that good stuff. Or no, we're not tethering. We're just wind rowing. And that'll look nice because it's a New Holland with a New Holland wind rower. Yeah, so a little more modern compared to the last tractor we just used. Uh, toot toot, what map is this, says Dustin? It's called Bally Spring by Irish Kana. I think they added it. No, it's not on the mod hub, I don't think. You have to go, I went to King Mods. That's, like I said, that's where I get a lot of my third-party mods. Um, I don't know if Irish Connor has an itch.io. Maybe someone could find that out for me? I'm not sure. I've seen him in uh, uh, Farm Sim Guy's chat when Farm Sim Guy uses his map, but I haven't noticed if he has 
like an itch.io website. <clears throat> but when you get it off of King Mods, it has his name for the credits. Irish Connor, he's the one who made it. All right, look at this little, little wind rower. I don't think I've ever used this with the single attachment. There are two other attachments you can use for this. Let's get this unfolded. I don't think you even unfold it, you just lower it. Are we doing anything? Ah, crap. We're putting it on the wrong side. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Dang it, Bobby. All right, we got to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I feel a little bit lonely. <laughs> all right, so all you got to do with this is lower it. I think. Yep. There you go. Look at that. Easy peasy, baby. That's it. Keep on trucking. Yeah. Very nice. But yeah, with the other attachments, you can do more, but I don't think I'll be able to fit through the gates with the other attachments because it's a lot wider. But this will get the job done, no problem. Do one lap around. There we go. Alright, and then we'll go like to the inside and push this towards that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we're doing that right, but it seems to be working all right, so we'll do it that way. <laughs> Probably could do it a different way. As long as it's working. Gonna make a nice swath for bailing. Yeah, you see? That's all right. Uh, they should just call this the Irish Spring map. Oh, like the soap? Some Irish spring soap. Very nice. Yeah, that'll work. Get that lifted. We'll uh, repeat the same process going this way to make our new row. go. wonder how many bales we'll get out of this. Probably not a whole lot. But. Peaceful, peaceful farming right here. Uh, what map is this, Dustin? Valley Spring. Valley Spring. Bale it. Hey, hey. Wrap it. Wrap it. Tetter and wind row it. Yeah. Jacob makes sense. If we do the wrapped ones, they can ferment while we're working on the other stuff. So that's probably the smartest way to go. Yep. Myself trapped in a circle of grass here. Bum, 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 bum. And then I guess we'll just do a strip up and down that might finish it up. Just kind of cut right through the middle here. Let's 
so relaxing. Did you have a stressful day, Isaiah? Uh, Frosty looks like Fooligan from GTA. I do? What are you talking about? I don't even know who that is. What's Fooligan? I haven't played GTA in a long time. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be cutting grass quite a bit tonight. Alright. Pretty much just make a decent row here and that'll be good enough. Whip the old baler out. All right, and there you go. Not too bad. Uh, good evening, Frosty and everyone. Uh, how is every Logan doing splendid. I had a great day. I was cutting down a bunch of walnut trees. Ooh. Did you get any walnuts? All right, now we have to wrap, or no, bail. Our bailer does not have a wrapper, so we'll bail and then wrap. Bad boy backed in. Easier said than done. Come on, baby. Darn it. Smaller stuff's a little, little more difficult to back in here. Third, third try is a charm, maybe, if we can get it, third try. Uh, that's an awesome wind rower, and like I said, it comes with attachments. I think that's by 46 mods, is that how you say it? 40, I think, yeah, 46 mods. And he does have an itch.io site. I know that for sure. All right, so I'll show it to you real quick under wind rowers there it is yeah uh, 46 mods there it is so those are the attachments you can get the rake hitch and then the double rake hitch so what you would do is buy that put trying to remember put one of these here in the middle and then you, you can add two more on the rear connected to each corner of this, which is connected to the back of that. It's it's a pain in the butt to set up, but it'll do a lot more width. But for a little field like we have, the single piece is good enough. <clears throat> Ooh. If that's gonna work. Yeah, I'll have to use a different tractor for that. A little too high on the hitch. But uh, we can wrap with this tractor in a little bit. Yeah, let's go get. Guess we can use the case. Just got to get rid of the uh, front loader attachment real quick. There you go. Alright, this will be uh, plenty of horsepower. The baler, I think, only requires like 80 horsepower. up to that right there. There we go. That looks proper. Very nice. Uh, what you talking about, Chris? What'd Chris say? Did Andy ever show up last night? 
So how's the weather, Frosty? 71 today. Nice and warm out. Beautiful weather in South Carolina. What's up, Podo? How's Podo doing this evening? Uh, it took you four tries to back that in, Frosty. I think you are a little rusty in your old age. Do and watch your mouth. All right, that's the last warning. Smack the hair right off your head. Um, let's see here. Does this have different sizes? We'll turn automatic drop on. Unfold Baylor. Wheels were going crazy there. Uh, lower. Activate. Alright. And off we go. It's gonna bail up some grass bales and then we'll wrap them. I don't know what size bales these make. Probably 125s. Thirty-five hundred liter. <clears throat> that up a little bit there. Yeah, that's a nice looking bale, eh? Whoa! Yeah, get the job done. Uh, do and you, I'm doing all right. Running late tonight. Uh, son had a basketball game today. Unfortunately, they got annihilated. <laughs> but uh wasn't their fault. Not many of the, well, I guess it was their fault. The whole team didn't show up, which never helps. I don't, I don't hear this baler beeping at all, like when it's full. It'd be nice to have some type of warning. It's knocked out two bales already. Too shabby. But yeah, not not a very good game today. He he did awesome, um, but it, that wasn't enough. Um, to say the whole the whole team didn't show up. <laughs> Should do small square bales. Nope, I don't wanna. I don't want to. I like round bales, Daddy. I'm sorry. This little case is nice. <clears throat> A little bumpy. It's got to be almost popping one out, right? There we go. We're actually getting more bales than I thought we would. Filling up pretty darn quick. Ninety-six, ninety-seven, eight, ninety-nine, and a hundred. How old is your son? Thirteen years old. He's a teenager. Kind of scary. But uh, what's up, Nikki Vanson? Hello. Frosty, my daughter had a game. Yeah, I saw you said that. She uh, destroyed the team they played. That's what happened to us. Only we were on the destroying end. We we got destroyed. <laughs> but uh, he still was positive about it. And he's like, we we played hard. We tried our best. I was like, that's that's right, buddy. Like that's all you can do. Just try your best. Play hard. Um, I'm I'm questionable about my son's coach. I, uh, hmm. He's making me want to uh, get back into coaching again. It's 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 hard to watch. His his style is a little hard to stomach. Let's just put it that way. So you never know. Frosty might be a coach next year if they let me. <laughs> uh, teenagers, here come the grays and bald spots. Yeah, already it's. It's a little stressful, but he's a good kid. Very, very good kid. All right, lift. I don't think it'll let us poop out a bale that's not finished. Nope. All right, so that's it for that field. 
Now we'll uh, wrap it all up. That's a nice tractor. I like that. Sharp. What kind of work are you doing? Says Chris. <clears throat> what kind of work am I doing? Uh, making wrapped bales. Is that what you mean? I don't know what you mean. This, this is what I do for a job, if that's what you mean. <laughs> yep, I'm a streamer. Uh, my son's coach is questionable too. Dang, I know, Bama. Ooh, it's hard. And my wife, Miss Frosty, she's like, control yourself at the game. Like, I'll try. Try my best. It's so hard to like, just be quiet and, ooh, man, I get heated. But I, I do, I control myself, sort of. All right, we're gonna do some wrapping. Unfold. Turn on automatic drop. And I think that's it. Then we just go pick up bales. See, this has a little flipper on it. So once the bale comes out, it hits that, it goes bloop. And then it's not sitting the way it is on the field right now. It's really nice. It's quite lovely. See, and then I'll do the old wrap doozy We got blue wrapping on it. And then it just kind of falls out and tips it over. It's, it's, it's cool. I had to pay extra money for it to do that. Look at that. Which reminds me. I forgot to buy a bale spike for my front loader. I was talking about on the farm. Uh, making wrapped bales. Yep. Some silage bales. Uh, good evening, Mr. Frosty. How has your day been? Not too shabby, Artemis. How you doing, Artemis? Just wrapping some fresh bales. We're going to turn this field into... It's not going to be... It's going to be our only field that's not grass. It's going to be like either wheat... Which one's the quickest? Wheat, oats, or barley? We need to figure out which one can be harvested the fast... Like, which one grows the fastest check here <clears throat> um, I think I have that written down somewhere actually uh, wheat takes 10 months barley takes 9 months oats only take 4 months chat so we'll definitely be planting oats that's all I want the oats for is straw bedding oats by the time you plant it 4 months later it's ready to harvest and whatever grain we get out of it, we'll sell that. Oh, I already wrapped that. <laughs> Can't wrap something you already wrap. Can't double wrap it, I guess. I don't know. There we go. What's up, Elizabeth Steady? How are ya? Should have done green wrap for Ireland. Maybe I should have John. Farming Sins, how's it going? Uh, Ivan says, I coach Little League football for our school. It's fun, Frosty. You'll like doing it with your kid. I've done basketball before uh, when my son was little, when he first started basketball. And then uh, I've coached softball. I did like two or three years of softball in Ohio. But, uh, yeah, I like coaching. It is a commitment, though. And now uh, you got to put up with parents and lots of things people don't think about that coaches put up with <laughs> alright let's fold that bad boy up but yeah it is fun how many bales we get out of there two four five wrapped bales out of that little field that's not bad that's actually pretty stinking good Mike. not bad at all I'm happy with that. Did not think we'd get that much, to be honest. It's going to back that right there. Good enough. Man, my nose is itchy tonight. Don't you hate that when your nose is itchy and you don't know why? 
I'm getting old. I think it's the uh, the uh, nose hairs. Not to turn anybody off. All right, so front loader tools. We do have the CSZ pack installed, which gives us a beautiful variety. I do like using ones with the uh, back wall. Helps it from tipping, but these are round bales. Uh, here's a wrapped bale handler. Man, I'm horrible with wrapped bale handlers, but that is what you're supposed to use. So I guess we can give it a shot. Give it a shot, I guess. And I'm also going to need a... Well, we might not need a wait. We'll see what happens. If we get... If we start tipping over, then... We'll definitely need to uh, purchase a rear weight for the tractor. What's going on, Jonathan Hoss failed? Uh, they make trimmer for those hair. I have one. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, the more you trim it, the more it grows back and gets even more annoying than the first time. Yeah, it might be trimming time. That's gross. Let's stop talking about that. We don't want to talk about that. We're not here to discuss nose hairs. Who brought that up anyway? I think I brought that up. Alright, I, I am horrible with these things. Alright, we're gonna use a wrapped bale grabber. So wish me luck. Oh. I had a feeling we'd need a weight. Alright, let's buy a weight real quick. Uh huh. Should we get the minion? I don't know if we should get a minion one. What kind of tractor I have? A new home. Ooh! barrels how much of that Ooh, one ton it's a little overkill i don't know if we need that uh, yeah we just need something small this little guy i guess and new holland or wait that's a case What am I talking about, eh? It's a case. Where? Eh. All right. I blame fire slaying. Me too. Uh, my nose hairs bring all the girls to the yard, says Kevin. Nice. Kind of gross, but I understand. All right, I think we connect to the other side here. If you just leave the bale almost touching the ground, it works. Yeah, we definitely need a weight on here. Sliding and trying to do a Papa Willy on us. There we go. Ooh, it's still struggling. Is that too low to the ground? Yeah, it's like rubbing on the ground. All right, so that weight might not be enough. So we're going to let these uh, ferment. And this will be our bale storage. It works. <laughs> uh, let's see. Good evening, Luis Alvarez. How are you? What case IH tractor is that, says Nikki. This is another modded one. Good question. It is. I got that on King Mods as well. Right here, International Harvester Company. It's a 4230XL. There she is. Isn't that nice? Just a tiny little thing. And put the front loader attachment on it, which is what we got.
should have gotten the barrels. I, I, you might be right. Should we get the barrels, chat? We got the money. The, this thing is not good enough. The the back end, it's, it's not good enough. It's still wanting to lift up off the ground. Let's uh, get the barrels. There they are. Uh, we'll do... Case red barrels. We don't need license plates on there. Uh, straps, we can do... Oh, that's that. Straps, we'll just do like a dark gray, I guess. Only 850 bucks, too. Well, the minion doesn't weigh much. So that wouldn't be uh, much help either. Chugging, chugging, chugging five miles an hour in my international harvester. We got 225 viewers in here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaben. We're playing Farm Sim 22. Awesome simulation game. For farming simulator. For farming. Oh, yeah. That thing's definitely, definitely working good now. Nice. Those are pretty cool. They even got blinkers on them. this just lights those are just reflectors cool oh got deer you got deer in the grass yard they're trying to eat my wrapped bales get out of here gosh darn it they need a shotgun mod to uh, shoot up in the sky just to scare off get the animals off the field all right, I want to test the weight on the barrels, see if we can do a double stack. Whoop, 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 whoop. No! Try grabbing it in the middle. Look at that. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, those barrels are working a lot better. Look at that. I think these are 620 kilograms each. That's 1,240 kilograms with both of them. Not bad for a little tiny tractor. But if anybody's wondering what map I'm using, it's called Bally Spring. It's by Irish Connor. It's a fairly new map. I think it came out on like December 30th. So it's it's very new. Right. Old triple stack here. Yeah, look at that, mate. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Almost. We got two more bales, so we'll try doing the old double stack again. What semi did you use to drive? I used to drive a uh, International 9900. Scoot up just a little. Come on, baby. Look at that, first person view. Oh goodness. Uh, 600 equals 1,322 pounds. So you're telling me that little tractor is holding 2,600 pounds of silage? <laughs> Jeez! So those barrels, I didn't even pay attention to how heavy the barrels were when we purchased them. But they must be stinking heavy. Wow. 
Wow. It's acting like it's not having any trouble. <clears throat> those up against the wall. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Alright, we'll probably be using this again later. So we're just gonna shut it down. So the grass bales are made. Now I want to turn this field into an arable field. So we're going to plow it. And I think I, I got stones turned off. I, I just don't feel like dealing with stones. Uh, so yeah, next up is hook up to the plow with our most powerful tractor, which is this bad boy here. It's a Dutes Far Agro Star. So uh, hop into it and get plowing, I. Nice tractor, huh? That. Almost the max size for this farm. I wouldn't really want to use too much of a bigger tractor than this. Because you wouldn't be able to fit through some of the gates with a bigger tractor. Like, this is the max I'd go with right here. I think this has 147 horsepower. Look up to the little Alice plow. Yeah. Uh, where are the gifted subs in here? I've looked all over and can never find it. Chris, are you on your, like an iPhone? It's a little different with that. Uh, maybe someone in the chat can help you. It's kind of weird to explain. Uh, Diane, thank you. How's Diane Kitts doing tonight? Here's a honka tutor for you. Uh, Georgia's girls basketball beat Kentucky 64 to 60. So at CC's tonight, uh, Bama Nation, after the game, we went to CC's Pizza. My son is excellent at the uh, in the arcade, the claw game. You know the claw game where the claw just kind of goes down and picks up stuff I could never do those every time he plays he gets something and he got like a Kentucky Wildcat mini basketball yeah I'm horrible with the claw I, I know I'm going to waste money when I try to do that alright we're going to drop this wow it's a field Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so that actually was a field. Cool. So there is an actual outline of a field here, chat. So we're going to follow that. Stay right along the edge. There's the edge right there. Nice. It's probably better that way anyway. The closer to the fence, the more problems would have happened. This would be nice. Yeah. Sneaking under the trees there. Right. Bad. I'm pretty good at them too, says Austin, are you? I'm I'm not. <laughs> I've always been bad at those. I'm bad at, like, arcade games in general. Never been good at them. There we go. it wouldn't let us plow right there. Mm 
never use these uh, European tractors. They're nice, though. It's a nice ride. Not bad. I was cutting a couple miles from Detweiler Farm today. Where are ya? Nice. I'm just gonna straighten up this line and then uh, we can maybe start going back and forth or something. Do a nice straight line here. Tractor sounds good, it does. It does sound quite lovely. That should be plenty of room to go back and forth now. Eh. Yeah, we're definitely gonna drill some oats into this ground. Uh, four months later, we'll be able to harvest and make straw bales, and then we'll have all the bales we need to start making TMR. In the meantime, we'll probably have to feed them hay, some hay bales. I think I'm being filtered, says Anne. You are not. I go for my procedure on the 16th of this month. Good, good, good. Well, I hope uh, it goes well for you, Anne. I'm just glad you're feeling better. At least that's what you said yesterday. Hopefully you uh, continue to feel better. Hello, Tony Maltig. How's it going, Tony? Bye, Frost, and everyone got to go to work. Dustin, have a great day or night at work. Be careful, be safe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, sir. Yeah, it's pointless to go back and forth. <laughs> Just keep going around. It's working pretty good. Demolish button that you could have clicked on and it got rid of the two silos. It won't work on Ohio Richlands last night. Nope, I tried. It doesn't let you demolish things on there. At least it wasn't for me. I tried. It does let you sell the access to the silos, which is nice. But it would not let me sell them, like, get rid of them off the map. I know I got a little patch over here I missed. Here somewhere. I know I missed a patch. Where the heck? Where the heck did I go? Getting to the frosty drone. There you go. Working from the frosty drone. Brought to you in part by Big Rig Frosty. Hope you enjoy. Very nice. Alright, this one we will have to uh, back up. Should get the last swipe in one go here. Beautiful. Now we'll take a look at precision farming and see what it asks us to do next. Probably put down some lime if I had to guess. Good, good luck, Ann. I, I hope everything goes perfect for you. Uh, my show is starting. See you next. Artemis, have a great one, buddy. We'll see you on the next one as well, sir. For the rest of you that are hanging around, we're going to park up the plow and see what we have to do with that soil. I've already purchased the uh, soil information for the field, so we're just going to follow the next step. and easy. 
Come on, baby. We are going to have to run to the store to uh, get seeds or whatever we're planting. And we'll probably buy some fertilizer while we're out. So we'll get to explore the map a little bit on the way to the store. We'll take the Mahindra. Man, there are deer everywhere. That manure is like multiplying. It was only a half a strip when we went live. That was an hour ago. It's already a full strip. So uh, the cows are happy. They're just uh, pooping away. Go, nice tractor. All right, so pH value is horrible. There's zero nitrogen. So it's going to need lime and it's going to need fertilizer. So we'll head to the store right now and purchase as much as we can shove in the Mahindra here. <laughs> We're not going to need a lot. We'll probably just get one bag of each. And I have no idea where the store is. This map is a decent size. Let's see here. Store, store, store. There it is. Nope. There it is right here. Vehicle shop. Nope. I didn't want to visit the shop. Come on, man. Wanted to mark it. <clears throat> Tag place. All right, it should be that, that big beam of light behind us. We're going to go follow that beam of light. Off we go with our little Mahindra. Go do some shopping. So if you're just tuning in, we're on Bally Springs, Ireland map. And that's our little stone house with our stone hedges. That's the field we just plowed over there. We're going to go to the store. Once I open my gate. <laughs> there we go. We're going to go to the store, get a bag of lime, get a bag of seeds, and get a bag of solid fertilizer. Put the map down at the bottom left. And we do have to drive on the wrong side of the road. Uh, hello, what's the name of the map? Bally Spring. Bally Spring, Joyce. That's if I'm saying that right. Yep, Bally Spring. Kind of glad I got a Mahindra. These roads are small. <clears throat> Love the AI traffic. Got a telehandler up ahead. Just past a manure hauler. Pretty cool. Oh, it's right up here on the left. Look at the little village. Look at everybody having a splendid day. That's right. Not bad, not bad. And there's my dog roaming around in town. He's probably going to get hit by a car if he doesn't watch out. That's Rex. All right, the store is right here. How do I get in? Guess we got to go in through the uh, gra gas station entrance. Uh, evening, Homer Rice. How the heck's Homer doing? How are you, buddy? Hello, Zach Ryan. I didn't know if you didn't notice the demolish button had to bring it up. I did notice. It just wouldn't do it. I don't know why. You too, Ann. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Devin, in the mod hub, I think there is an auto open gate and close. There is. Yeah, I don't use it because I've had issues with it. 
before on certain maps, so I just don't use it. But you are right. It, it uh, I forget what it's called, but it, it does open stuff. All right, so we're just gonna park over here out of the way. And order our stuff. The drink so bad. Ah, all right. Oh, wait a minute. Is that somebody else's dog? Hmm. Maybe there's two dogs on this map. Here's the inside of the store. Got some farming artwork up on the walls and that's where you get your stuff repaired, tractors. All right, let's do some shopping. So we need, I think a big bag is gonna last a long time. So there's 2000 liters of lime. We'll just buy one of those. And then we're gonna need solid fertilizer. I guess we'll just, it doesn't matter which one, huh? Yeah, we'll just get one of those. And we're also gonna need some seeds. It's a thousand liter of seeds. That should be enough. Question is, will that fit in the Mahindra? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Don't know if that's gonna work. We might have to leave the lid open there. And we'll try to manually throw those on real quick. <clears throat> yeah, we should be able to put like two in the front, one in the middle of the two behind it. Uh, what's up, Nelson? Joe Wolf, hello. Do you like IH twelve oh? I like, I like it all, Suzette. Um, <laughs> I'm using it right. I haven't had a problem that I know of. What are some of the problems you were have? If uh, just certain maps, the doors wouldn't open. Like they'd open, or they'd close and then never open again. And it, it, I just stopped using it. But I I test out tons of maps, so. There's probably just some maps that it doesn't work good on. But yeah, I kind of like opening the stuff manually anyway. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Oh. Sort of worked. We're going to have to uh, push it with the forks. Don't worry. The, uh, the material the bag's made out of is, like, super sturdy. I don't know if that's, I don't know if I'll be able to fit all three. <laughs> but I do need the lime and I need the fertilizer. The seeds aren't really important yet because that's the last step. And who knows, we might have to come back. We might not have enough of one of the, you know, one or the other. Woo, she didn't like the weight on that. Yeah, if I would have put that in sideways, maybe that would have worked. Oh, yeah. Let's pop a hole in it, right? You know what? I think we can shove that on there. We'll make it work. <laughs> uh, you're dumping it out, says Devin. Uh, worked out why I couldn't get the Tier 3 server. I didn't download... Worked out why I couldn't get the Tier 3. I didn't download the map. Yep, gotta have the map. That'll be very uh, helpful there, sir. Yeah, that's uh, North Carolina. Eastern North Carolina map. 
I don't know if this will work or not. Can't get it over that hump. Yep. Side, the side of the Mahindra. Yep, Bobby. working that's all right we tried now all I gotta do is eat a can of spinach and just lift the thing up I'm pretty strong you know I ate my spinach and my Wheaties and all that good stuff and yes I think I just ended up dumping the seeds in there which it's not a big deal that'll work too all right all right, so there's our little train wreck. Uh, we got seeds, fertilizer, and lime on the back of our Mahindra. We're kind of sagging there. Hopefully we don't bust the uh, suspension on the way home. And off we go. The flashers on. <laughs> It'll work. Oh, Dipsy daisy A pretty map though. A lot, like I said, grass fields galore all over this map. Tons of grass fields. Suspension brake noise. Uh, hey, Frosty, how are you tonight? I'm okay, but my car was in an accident today. You weren't in the accident? Just your car was? What was your car doing driving without you in it? That's probably why the accident happened. Yeah, you, you need to be in the car next time. And then maybe it won't happen. Is everything all right? Well, tell the, tell the car I hope he feels better. That's horrible. What, what kind of accident? How bad are we talking? Like a rear end, a fender bender? Or are we talking like totaled? How bad is it? All right, we made it home safe. Tesla, says Abraham. What, did we pass a Tesla? I wasn't paying attention. All right. First, we got to do lime. And I think that little that little guy right there actually spreads lime, which I'm, I'm not sure if I believe that or not, but we're about to find out. I need a place to store this. You know it'd be a good place? These these little doors right here. That'd be like perfect. All right, straps off. Uh, we'll put the lime. Just shove the lime there. Seeds, put right here. And solid fertilizer, we'll throw right here. There you go. And then I can live dump some seeds right here. And the cedar can just suck them right up. <laughs> I think, I hope. If not, we can get the front end loader and scoop it up and dump it in. But it should take it right from the ground. All right, see how it goes. Let's get the baler out of the way. A rear end collision. Uh, no, I was not in it. It was at a dealership being driven by a tech and someone backed into it. So far, $9,000 in damage right now. That actually, it not that bad, but that happened to me. Uh, not a dealership, but a place that did my oil change. This was years ago. I, I came back and my both of my left side of the car rims had big scratches across it. 
I'm like, that is not how that was when I dropped that thing off. And they went and looked at security camera and one of the workers just rubbed up against something in the shop when they were backing out and it just scraped my it even had big marks on the tires and like what the heck Mike but they got it all settled and figured out clean up my messes here Park this back over here. If that little thing doesn't spread lime like I thought it do did, uh, we'll have to buy a little lime spreader. But it's, I think it said it, it works. Yeah, this little guy right here. Get it lowered. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's see. By golly, it works. It holds 440 liters of lime. That's nice. That's part of the uh, Kubota pack. The uh, modded Kubota pack on the uh, mod hub. All right, so we do have our little map on the bottom left, which I'm blocking. So I'll move myself. Let me get more self moved for you, eh? Video capture device. Let's go like right there. There we go. All right, now you can see the uh, bottom map. Field 135 uh, gives you the pH levels. All right, let's see. Do we need to unfold this? Lift fertilize spreader. It has like a nine meter spread. Should be good to go. <laughs> ah, it's dusty. All right. Ooh, man, I got the hammer down. All right, so we're spreading lime on our uh, fresh plowed field here. She eats through that lime like no other. Oh my goodness. So that's the only downside is it runs out super quick, but luckily we have a small field, small farm. No biggie. No biggie. Just have to make a few uh, trips. And I think, wasn't the lime like a bag of 2,000 liters? You look taller, says Kevin. I've, I've grown a couple inches. I was not happy when I got the phone call or the picture of it. I bet, buddy. But hey, they'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. So at least, it is, I know, it's a pain in the butt. It's not the uh, news you were hoping for. But uh, at least they're going to take care of it at the end of the day crap happens right chat we all know that and i know you're the type you'll just try to be positive about it move on with your bad self right because it could always be worse it could have been you in the car out on the road getting into a very bad accident and getting hurt or possibly you know what so just think of it that way as hard as it is to do Woo, man good thing is lime isn't something you have to do every time so we shouldn't have to uh, do this again for a while but it's eating it fast that on there. Jeez. We'll have to get one last refill, I think. Yep. Whoo, man. So that, that'll get our pH levels perfect once we get finished. Yep, that was definitely a 2,000 liter bag. 
It could have been worse, you're right. Exactly. Could always be worse. Who was the jerk who left the bailer there? I don't know, Frank. Probably Steerman. He's either Steerman or Stevie. Should put the lime in the coconut and then mix it all up. Sounds like a song. Sounds like a, a wedding song. Anybody hate wedding songs? Like when you're at a wedding? The same old songs every wedding you go to? The same old songs? Ugh. Drives me nuts. I'm like, is there not any other music to play other than the same crap? Hey, Macarena. Come on. We've heard that way too many times. I think we got it all finished here. Yep. Kind of doing a second win. It doesn't cover every patch when you do uh, precision farming for some reason. But, uh, oh, our little tractor's all getting dirty. It's getting all covered in lime. Let's unload the rest of this. All right, we got some leftover lime for next time. Now let's go check the field status after that. Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to read, but there you go. Bottom right corner, pH value, perfect. 7.0 out of 7.0. Uh, now we're gonna plant, and then we'll put uh, fertilizer for nitrogen. So we'll just park this bad boy. Well, actually, we'll fill this with fertilizer. Just right over here. That's pretty cool. It's a multi-purpose tool. We can uh, fill it with lime and solid fertilizer. Good stuff. park him there for now see how our fermenting's going three percent hello i saw a kubota sprayer yeah isn't that thing awesome i love that thing all right i need to check the horsepower required for my little cedar uh it has to have 60 horsepower oh that takes solid fertilizer too all right. Well, never mind. We'll fill that with fertilizer and seed. Um, this tractor has 96, 143, 104. That bad boy only has 35. I kind of want one more tractor. Wouldn't mind one extra tractor on the farm. I love having a variety. So let's see what kind of El Cheapos we got. We need at least 60 horsepower. Get something old so it matches all the other stuff we got. That has exactly 60 horsepower. The old Lands Bulldog. 50. That has 60 horsepower. David Brown. Mm. It's tempting. That's on that's on my list. Keep that in mind. Uh, Kevin Flores! I saw it this time. Thank you, Kevin. Coming in with the $5 Super Chats is Frosty. If you had a plot of land behind your house that big and you owned it, would you farm it? If HOA would let me. Maybe I'd make a few bales here and there. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Kevin, for the $5 Super Chat. Uh, holiday songs, too. Same lyrics, but different people singing. Ah, oh, that drives me nuts. Uh, <laughs> you looked... I, I read that already. What's the 100K mean, Chris? What's that mean? Uh, 230 people... Yeah, what the heck? We got so many people watching, but nobody wants to like the stream. Do you not like what you see? If you don't, I understand. It's good. Is David Brown Sato Tractor? Sato? What's that mean? 
David Brown is a real tractor, yes, if that's what you're trying to say. All right, so there's that. Uh, there's this little guy. That's another old Dietz, which can be cussed. It can uh, put a bigger engine in it. Wouldn't be a bad uh, idea. Then we got all kinds of case. Uh, we have, uh, I don't want those. I use that on the other map. Here's a Fiat Agri. That doesn't have enough horsepower. There's another Fiat. It's not bad. That old square body look to it. Then we got some Fords. Uh, more case. More case. We already got the one case on the farm. Kind of trying to mix it up. We don't have a John Deere tractor. There's this guy. He'd be good for planting. He's got 84 horsepower. What do you think of that? A 4020 diesel. And then we got, that's not enough horsepower. Definitely not. I don't, this thing only has 18 horsepower. Like, what the heck are you going to do with that? Uh, 30, 32. We don't have any Masseys on the farm. Any of these Masseys would get the job done. It's, it's, it's mind boggling. It looks the same like David Brown, a case or old John Deere, a bulldog. The bulldog's tempting. That's pretty sharp. Ooh, we got to keep money in mind. We only got 46,000. Uh, here's an open cat Massey. I guess we got that little old Massey. Um, we're getting towards the end of the, my list. That has 100 horsepower, a Ford 8. What do you think of that? 100 horsepower. That'd be enough to pull the uh, planter. I think we could pull the roller. We could do a few things with that tractor. So Ford or John Deere? Put it in the chat. John Deere or Ford? Irvin wants the John Deere. Patrick, Sean, Dakota says Ford. Joe Coleman wants Bob Evans down on the farm. Uh, definitely looks like a lot of you are saying the uh, John Deere. Okay. So John Deere. But that thing, look, at, look how sweet that is. <sighs> that thing is sweet. There's still a lot of people. Okay, 420. All right. All right. Which one was that? This one? Yeah. 84 horsepower. <clears throat> we'll leave the sing. I love the old singles. We'll leave that on there. Uh, we'll put a little weight bracket on the front. Oh, it's even got a little umbrella. Oh, that's just nice. That way we don't burn our heads. Uh, we gotta have an umbrella. All right, $10,595. Beautiful. Only problem is, I parked that all the way at the store. So we gotta take this all the way home. There she is. She's got lights on the fenders up there, that's cool. Yeah, I, got, I gotta have an umbrella. Oh, look at the little uh, exhaust flap. Very nice. All right, we'll just have a nice drive home in our new John Deere tractor. Uh, what's up, Natron? How's it going? Uh, holy moly, bring back old Yeller, says Joe. All the app... Uh, ooh, Minneapolis Moline's not on this profile. I have that on my other mod folder for uh, Leona, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's, that's a nice tractor, too. But we'll just cruise back to the farm in our new 4020 diesel. 
I love that. That little umbrella is awesome. Ford is cheaper and more horses. It did have a hundred. I, I, like I said, I go with what the the chat wants, and way more of you said John Deere. That's usually how it goes. Everybody always says John Deere. It's just, uh, it's like one of those, like Harley. When you think of a motorcycle, everybody thinks Harley Davidson. It's just like that with uh, tractors. John Deere is usually the the choice. But I, I like them all. I like Lamborghini, Massey Ferguson, Case, New Holland. I like them all. They're all awesome to me. Hey, kid, Kubota, bring me my Kubota, kid. Brakes don't work me. Laughs. I don't know what the heck you're talking about, but thanks for being here. All right, let's uh, go. <laughs> all right, these deer are crazy. First, they were eating soil. No, first they were eating wrapped bales. Now they're out there licking lime off my soil. I'm gonna start seeing uh, dead deer laying on my property. Their pH levels are gonna be too high. All right, let's hook up to the planter or driller, whatever you guys wanna call it. And fill it with solid fertilizer and seeds. How do we open the lid here? All right, doesn't have a lid. So we're just gonna, oh, please, please load up from right there. That'd be great. Oh, you little punk. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. What a, what a chump, you know? All right, so we'll, uh, man. That means I need a little front loader bucket for my case tractor real quick. We'll sit that there. <clears throat> We're not running to the store for that. We're just gonna spawn it right in front of us. get us a nice little bucket something that's multi-purpose I want to be able to pick up seeds and manure it's gonna yeah it's gonna be one of those kind of buckets you know what I'm saying a bucket with central discharge Ooh, fancy a hopper bucket that's cool I think that means right there you can unload. The, ooh, I like that. Levelers, uh, whatever. Let's get let's get that one. Three thousand bucks. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Get a shovel. Dang it! You're a smart man. I think I do have the shovel and uh, the shovel mod. Oh, I got a shovel. I do want to test out the shovel real quick. Yeah. Oh, baby. Gosh. All right. Now, now we're really getting crazy. Look. Oh, my goodness. I drop it? Okay. <laughs> First time using the shovel. All right, that didn't work very good. Gotta make sure I'm over the seeds. Is that going in there? <laughs> Get out of here. 
piece of junk. I don't think that did anything. Nope, didn't do a darn thing. <laughs> Open the doors on the plane. There ain't no stinking doors on it, daddy. I tried. I hit, I hit the button. Usually N opens the stinking, like it's not, uh, Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem to have a lid. Usually, that's what I do, is open the cedar, but it doesn't have one, dang it. I don't know. I'm just telling you. It says unfold cedar, but there's nothing about a darn lid. I see, I, I don't know. I don't know. Time for an upgraded planner? No, I don't know if that's what the problem is. Maybe it needs to be lowered. I don't know. We'll figure this out. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Blocked myself in. Let's uh, try the shovel one more time, but with the planter lowered to the ground. I think it's working. Nope, it ain't working. <laughs> oh, dang it. All right. I'm keeping that shovel, though. I don't think it's the shovel's fault. Spin it around. We'll lean it against the... Uh, you little punk. Whatever. All right. We'll uh, try dumping it in with the tractor. That doesn't work, then I don't stinking know. Uh, cedar makes your life easier. Time for an upgraded planter. Then you should throw it in the sea. Open the cedar. So I have a hitch on my car today. All right, Jordan opens door on planter. I tried, Tyler. I really tried. Tried my best. And I failed. I let everybody down. Everybody's mad. All right, we'll disconnect this. Hook up to the bucket. Whoop. Ooh, that's a nice little bucket right there. Oh, that's cool. Scoop her up. Oh, check this out. enough space to unload. Well, you know what? They need to figure this out. This is getting silly. Got to be a way to make this work, dang it. Huh? What the heck did I just fill? Why do I have milk? Oh my goodness, we just put milk in these barrels from our cow pen. <laughs> oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. What's going on here? Dang it, man. Something, something's jacked up here. 
ridge marker, fold cedar, select oats, blah, blah, blah. Did that. Wasn't that a bunch of crap, huh? I don't know. You broke it, storm track and forecast, now you have some good weight in the back. How's it broken when it's brand spanking new? Ah, that's like the perfect little planner too. I wanted that one. None of a turd head. Yeah, the stinking lid won't open. It's super annoying. I'm trying to think what other buttons would make that work. Need to fill the tool first. Well, I'm trying. Oh. Oh well. That's a shame. That is a stinking shame. Alright, we're gonna sell that. And buy a different one. All right, got to go shopping for a new Sida. So, uh, which one was that? <clears throat> this little guy here, the Agro Mats. I guess don't download that. Uh, we'll try... This one's a 4 meter, requires 110. So now we're going to run into the whole horsepower problem. 100, can't do that. Could do that, but I use that all the time. Uh, 60 horsepower. Three meter. All right, let's try this. About the same price, too. All right, we'll try this one out. My goodness. Oh, goodness, laddie. That was almost a perfect trade. Is it the tractor? Like, what's going on here? There we go. My goodness. So, yeah, the other one must not be broken. Because this one opens fine with Z. The other one would not open with Z. So that must be where you load up your milk. That little uh, icon right there. All right, we'll park this right here. We have both lids open for fertilizer and for seeds. Alright, this should automatically start filling it. Right? Maybe not. I want to unload. The heck's wrong with this crap? <laughs> I'm getting frustrated. Getting frustrated, I'll tell you what. Now you got a way to transport your milk. Hit I. I did. I hit I. It's not working. And I'm right over the darn thing, so. Son of a fart head. Alright, look at the signals when I go over. Unload. I, 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 I. This action cannot be formed. Unfold weight. Unload. I, 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 I. I. I, 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 I. It's not working. 
It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to be nice to me, chat. I'm trying. I'm trying. It won't work. He is gonna turn butter. Is there another function with the right mouse button? Since it's usually just tilt the button. Out. What the heck's this? Gosh. Ugh. All right, we're gonna try one more thing. Holy mackerel. Miracles do happen. You just gotta believe, I guess. All right, so you gotta slide the the right mouse button left and right to open that little hopper on the bucket. See? All right, my goodness. Weird. <laughs> very, very odd. All right, cool. We got it figured out, though, so. And we'll probably need more seed at some point. We'll fill that up later. <laughs> and we got milk in our barrels. Interesting. Now, as far as fertilizer goes, we should just pull up to the fertilizer bag and it'll fill it up. Solid fertilizers right on the corner here. And there we go. That worked like it's supposed to. Get the doors closed. Bada bing, bada boom. Four days later, we are in business. Holy junk nut. Wow. All right, so uh, bottom of the left corner of the map, you see it's all red. That means nitrogen is zero. It's horrible. We're gonna get this lowered. Activated. And plant our first field. Whew. That was a bit little rough there, chat. We knew you could do it, Frosty. Yeah. I don't know. That, that was definitely a struggle. We are using 420 seeds per meter squared. So, uh, yeah, we're dropping seeds like it's hot. It's not eating up the uh, fertilizer too bad at all. Bad. There's our little John Deere going to work. Gonna catch some of those edges I missed. <laughs> Just popping in to say hi. What's up, Adam? We're, we're well. I'm struggling. I won't say we are, cause I don't think anybody else is struggling with what I'm doing. It's me that's having troubles. But uh. I think we're back on track. Tire marks are leaving a mess. It's that real dirt mod. Whew. I can't wait to give this map a go. Try it out, James. I, I like it because it's small machinery. I mean, you have to use small machinery. You're not getting big tractors in here. Plus, it's pointless. These are just tiny little fields. I just wanted to have one field to make my straw bedding. So that's what this will be used for. And technically, we wouldn't even we wouldn't even need to bale straw we could purchase like a little cheap uh, forage wagon but at the same time I guess I kind of need the bales if I want to make TMR 
I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, what's up, sir? Was curious if you knew you were planting wheat. Not a, You know what? <sighs> That's because we bought this new stinking planter. And I didn't switch it because of all the other crap going on with the fertilizer and the seeds. So, yeah, we're planting wheat. Thank you, Levi. Levi caught that. I had the other planter set to oats, which is the quick crop. It only takes four months. Now we gotta wait stinking a year for wheat to grow. Dang it! Thank you, Levi. <laughs> and thank you for the $5 super chat. Thank you, sir. Yeah, baby! <laughs> that reminds me of my early days of hay farming. Dang it! So we'll have to probably buy straw bales because we'll definitely need to make TMR before a year goes by in the game. <laughs> uh, I sold my honeybee header stupid thing. Why? Why'd you sell it? Oh, the, the, the header trailer? That thing is... Once you figure it out, it's real cool, but it is kind of weird. There's a certain science to that. But the header itself is awesome, the honeybee. I really wanted that other planter. It, had, it was just nicer. But apparently it was broken because it would not work. Very sad. Dang it, Bobby! <laughs> I want to be in end February. You want to be it end February. I don't stink and know what you're talking about. But all right. If you want it to be February, all right. There we go. Last little swipe with our little lizard planter because our other one was broken. We had to buy this little turd. That's all right. Oh, it works. Got the job done. little patches to uh, hit little patch along the green uh, shed over there and then that'll be it for the, the planting that also put down fertilizer which is just grand and radiant there it is and that should do it that's grass anyway. All we're really doing there is fertilizing it, I guess. There you go. Top this off for next time. Bada bing, bada boom. Seeds. Oh, you know what? Let's dump the uh, the remainder of the seeds in the bucket. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, he's planting rice. I'm not. That was wheat. I, I wanted it to be oats, but I accidentally planted wheat. So we'll just have to wait longer to harvest it, that's all. No biggie. Alright. I decide. I don't get it. Get damn. Stinking.
There we go. Goodness, Lottie. Like, for real. All right, that's closed. What a piece of junk. Wooey. I'll park this little turd over here. Get that attachment off of me. Off of me. Can't stand that attachment. It's cool though. It is, it is cool. Just you know. Uh, Jeremy Quam, nice farm for all. Well, thank you very much. It's quite cluttered at the moment, as you can see. We're having we're having some issues, but uh, it is nice. It's a nice map. All right, that's all stocked up and uh, loaded for next time. And next time, I'll have it set to oats. I just switched it to oats so we don't mess up next time. Drop that in there. <clears throat> it got hot in my man cave. Put the AC on or something. Getting toasty in here. What are the barrels for? <laughs> we found out they're more than a weight. Uh, that's just a weight to... Uh, keep the tractor from going forward when you uh, lift up bales but you can also fill those I've got 1500 liters of milk in them bad boys by accident I didn't realize this was the milk trigger so I was like trying to load a planter here a little bit ago and accidentally filled this up with milk <laughs> so there you go we have milk in there but it works great I was able to pick up two wrapped bales and no problem. Alright. Okay. Let's go check out the uh, field status. Look at that. Expected yield 88%. Uh, nitrogen, perfect. pH value, perfect. It needs rolled. So now we're just going to roll it real fast. We'll use the, uh, New Holland. Drop our little fertilizer bucket off and hook up to the roller. Yeah, it's a very compact farm. It's called Bally Spring, based in Ireland. And thank you again, Levi, for that $5 super chat. As frustrating as it was to read that, thank you. The Milky Weights, I like that. That's actually funny. A lot of your guys' jokes are horrible, but that's good. Fit Smock says, the Milky Weights. I like that. That's, that, that's actually a good one. The Milky Weights. I, di I didn't even think of that. Good stuff, good stuff. You rock, do you a bit of rolling, eh? But uh, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I think we're at, we're over 100 likes. Are we getting anywhere near 200? Huh? We doing all right tonight? Come on, fold, baby. Yeah, she unfolds slow. T -t 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 Today, sonny. All right, get her lowered. gives you a little yield bonus when you uh, roll your field.
we also need to make some hay bales. So we'll probably hit one of our other little grass fields on our property. We, we've spent two hours just pretty much turning this field into an arable field. Um, did not think it would take that long. But it was grass. It was just a grass field before this. So we cut the grass. We windrowed it. We baled it, wrapped it, made like five good-sized silage bales out of it. Then we wanted to turn this into a harvestable field of like supposed to be oats, but going to be wheat. So we plowed it, we put lime on it, and then you just witnessed uh, dropping the seeds. And now we're rolling it. That's the final step. And then we just wait for it to grow. Plus it gets rid of all those lime tracks in the field. Makes it look a little more neater. Nice and fresh. So nice. Uh, sown in the seeds, that's right. I love the ship horn frosty. Oh, uh, on the uh, alert there from Scott Pentland from Australia. Coming in with the 20 Australian dollars. Says you are amazing. You're amazing, Scott. Thank you very much for the uh, support to the channel as always, buddy. Thank you very much. That's Scott Pentland. Thank you, Scott. How's the, how's the weather in Australia, mate? Is it doing all right in Australia, mate? This thing folds like slower than Stevie drives. It's steerman. It's so slow. How dirty that got just from one little one little work chore of rolling. All right, cool. So now if we hop out, we'll see that the percentage went up to 89% because we rolled it, that you get a little bonus. It's a silty clay soil. So if we go to our precision farming symbol here and zoom in, we just worked the whole night. We, we've been working on field 135. So it's a silty clay. And then uh, there's our pH level. It's at seven. Very nice. Nitrogen is at 180, 160. It's right around there. Very, very good. And uh, that's the yield potential we're going to get, which is about 80, between 80 and 90%. And seed rate was high. We had to use a lot of seeds to plant that. That's all good, baby. That's all good. Very nice. That, I just can't believe we spent the whole night on that one field. <laughs> uh, slower than Stearman. Is this map compatible for console? Negative. Yeah, you got to get this from uh, King Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Did anybody find out if if uh, Irish Connor has like a website? called Bally Spring. I found it on King Mods. I know it's by Irish Connor, but I still am not sure if <clears throat> he has his own website or what. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's check out some stats. While all that went on, let's see what's going on in here. So we have, wow, we have 8,500 liters of milk in stock. And uh, the best time to sell that is in October, so we'll definitely wait. And that's pretty much all we have that's like sellable. <clears throat> but we don't really need the money. We got everything we need at the moment. Uh, we do have ducks. We have one duck, two chicken, two chicks, and a rooster. So a duck, 
a couple chickens, a couple chicks, and a rooster. And they have not barely any grain, so that'll be nice when we get a harvest. I might have to go buy some feed. And then our cows are pumping out the slurry. Holy mackerel. Dang. All right, so we have plenty of slurry already. They're running low on straw. They're they're doing all right. They're doing all right. They don't have much food. We need to make some hay. So I think there's a back gate. I don't know how to get to this. Got to figure out how to get into that field right there. Come out here. Uh, where's the stinking entrance, Lotta? How do I stink and get in there? Gosh darn it, Bobby. Holy cow, like seriously, how do I get in there? Do I own this? Nope, that's where, uh, oh my goodness. There's cows everywhere. I think these are all my cows. Nope, that's somebody else's cows. I don't know how to get to my own land. I don't know how to get in here. I see this gate. And that is some tall grass. I need to find an entrance. Come on, Bobby. How the heck do I... Oh, right there. Right there. So this road... All right, it's a side road next to my farm. Okay, cool. I got that figured out. <laughs> it's like a maze. Uh, in one hole, not the other. I see the Koopas join you on the YouTube Frost. Don't leave the milk in the sun or else it might go off. Have you got a pond for your duck? Do I have a pond for my duck? I don't even know where my ducks are. I need to figure out where the heck they are. Oh my goodness, they're right behind my house. I did not know they were right here. Oh, there they are. Just a very small coop that will make uh, eggs for us. There's the duck. The black duck. The ugly duckling. Yep. All right, now I know where they are. Didn't even know that's where they were. All right, we need to go cut that stinking grass. Uh, what is the map called? Valley Spring. When was ducks added? It's added to this map. Uh, some modders know how to add different animals to their maps. And this is one of them. It's quite lovely, isn't it? All right, let's go cut some grass. Hook up to the sickle bar. Go make some hay. We got wrapped bales. Now we'll make some uh, hay bales. You know what I'm saying? Got our old little massy. I wonder what year this thing is. It looks like like 1950s or 60s. This thing looks super old. All right, and off we go. Interior, there's like zero interior noise. So we'll just hang out on the back. Slower than Steerman. Beautiful 88 degree. Last day of my holiday stay. Back to work Monday. Ah. My kids go back to school Monday. They're they're not that excited about it. <laughs> They've been really enjoying the uh not having to go to school. We are in Ireland, so we do drive on the uh, left side of the road here. Pretty cool. Bumpy old road, huh? Nice. 
get some hemorrhoid cream after this ride. Ooh, Bobby. I shouldn't have said that. That was gross. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, we got to find the entrance over here right there. There she is. That's the gate we opened. This is a big old field. My goodness. We might be able to split this in half or something. Look at that grass. I'm like, the tractor's almost lost in it. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's a nice screenshot. Hiding in the grass. Take a picture of that real quick. <laughs> We're like buried in there. Uh, do you pick all of the equipment? I did. Yes, I did. I sold everything on uh, New Farmer and used all that money to buy what I wanted to use without cheating. No, no cheated money. I'm trying to get away from using the money cheat. It just takes away from the, the enjoyment for me. Oh my goodness. Can this thing handle cutting through this? Nice! It's like the, the Hulk farted. That's what it looks like. The Hulk just left a big old stinker, chat. This reminds me of the grass on uh, Westby. Anybody remember Westby map? The grass is like super high on it. This is, in real life, this tractor would not be doing very good in this kind of grass. That is, that's a lot of grass. Goodness, laddie. <laughs> oh my. you call giving the field a big old haircut <laughs> oh boy all right working very nicely yeah we'll definitely not do all hay we can split this field into hay and wrapped bales we'll do like half of it hay half of it wrapped This might be longer than Westby, now that I look at it. This, this is insane. Some thick, chunky grass. All right, we're almost back where we started. Somewhere in here. <laughs> there it is. All right, we're going to lift up. And turn around so we're driving into low cut. That way we can see a little better, and that's the proper way to do it anyway. So, oh look! I just found a hidden treasure. Oh, I knew I saw something hiding in here. Look at that! Grandpa's old car. Old Irish grandpa. His car broke down years ago and it got overgrown in grass and everybody thought it disappeared, but it's been here the whole time. It's all rusted out. All right, drop it like it's hot. There we go. Now we can see what the heck we're doing. like a tunnel look at this it's the tunnel of grass it's a it's a grass maze not a corn maze a grass maze for little kids here kids we're dropping you off at the irish grass maze by frosty we'll pick you up after lunch now you gotta unbury that car it's a nice decoration huh i just happened to catch it out of the corner of my eye look at this that is so thick don't say it. From back when they put inner tubes in the tires. Yep. Oh, this is nice. It really is like being on a little trail. 
The kids are going to get ticks. Yes, can you imagine the ticks in this field? Irish ticks. I wonder if Irish ticks suck more blood than an American tick. You know? Those are the things I think about. This Massey has no trouble. It only has like 38 horsepower. It's cutting through this like it owns it. It's like, what? This grass ain't no match for me and my tractor. I do need to figure out where I want to split the field and decide like one side hay and one side silage. Probably, since we already got five bales, maybe we'll cut the field in half right over here. I don't know, it's a good size field. We'll figure it out. What's up, Kale Hansen? How's Kale doing this evening? We're just cutting some ridiculous tall grass, but I love it. Uh, only I, only I see is you can get this map on King Mods. Irish Connor is the modder, though. Irish Connor. Was Sean Connor? I, I asked earlier. I don't know if I asked, but is Sean Connor? Sean Connery is he Irish? Or is he Scottish? I don't know. Uh, I wonder if the Irish ticks are green. I don't know. Grandma's wooden leg, yep. It's peaceful, though. I think, I think there's a couple guys out on that pond fishing. I see a couple fishing boats out there. He's Scottish. Hang it. Yeah, she's Scottish. Sean, Sean Connery. Scottish farmer. Escaped from Alcatraz. Yes, Scottish. Not Irish. Sean Connery. How dare you call me sh Irish? I'm not Irish, I'm Scottish. Yeah. Mate. Oi, oi, oi. And all this green dust stuck in my face, mate. I'll fight you any day. You and me, lad. Right now, right here. Smack the bubbles out of your cheeks. I can't do Sean Connery. I wish I could. I mean, uh, Connor McGregor. I, I can't. I can't do his voice. <laughs> How's Kale doing? The kids. Oh, I read that already. He's Irish. I just asked Google. Who said Scottish? Stevenson, come on. You gotta know Google is always right. Jeez. I thought he was Irish. Everybody said Scot. I thought he. I, re I really thought he was Scottish. I don't know why. Scotland has. They got some. At least the one friend I have that's Scottish, his accent is tough to understand. It's very, I don't know, I don't know. It's, he talk, he talk, it's very strong and I don't even know how to explain it. It's hard to understand them a little bit. I like the, the way it sounds. It's just hard to understand. There's something holding us up over here. Like a little hump in the field. He is Scottish. He was born in Edinburgh. See, I knew, yeah. Do Ann, Google doesn't know nothing. You should know that. Just ask Stevie and Sean Briley. They know better than Google. I knew he was from Scotland. I knew it. I, did, I don't know. But I believe Stevie. He lives. 
he lives over there, so he'd probably know better than any of us. Yep, can't always believe what Google tells you. Especially when it comes to uh, the quickest route to get somewhere with GPS. Google's not the best at that. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. This thing might be due for an oil change. Ooh, speaking of oil change, I need to I need to go get the car oil change. It needs a bad after the uh, trip to Ohio for Christmas. It's ready for an oil change. Maybe it's that sharp turn I keep making. It's getting binded up a little bit. That's probably what it is. Would course play work on this? Probably too late now. Already started cutting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that'll work. Ooh, I don't think I have it installed anyway, so. All right, so let's focus, let's cut across here. I think that whole chunk will be silage bales. And this side will be hay bales. Seems like the about the right amount. But since we already did wrap bales, we'll, we'll not get too excited about that chunk. Let's finish this chunk and get this section tethered. <clears throat> and then wind road. Ooh, that little wind rower is going to... Oh, man. Maybe I'll buy the extensions so we can uh, have a bigger wind rower because that'll take a while with that little baby one. Horse play should work. It would scan the field. Yeah, I don't have it installed in this mod folder. Dang it. I forgot. That would be great right now. Have, have uh, the worker just continue cutting the grass. <laughs> oh, well. I'll definitely get it put in for next time. Sean Connery is Scottish, born in Edinburgh, but if I remember correctly, his great parents were Irish. Oh, did you uh, change the oil on the Lexus today? Ooh, the Lexus. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I don't do oil changes anymore. I used to. I just take it to have it done now. The less I'm laying on the ground, the better. <laughs> you can do anything really with course play. You might need to make custom fields for ones that don't auto populate. Yeah, this is considered an actual field. So it should work. But I, I didn't activate it. it. Like, it's not even in the mod folder, period. I, I have like five different folders for different things I do. Or farm sim. I forgot to uh, transfer it over to this one. Ooh, that is a big field. All right. I wonder if I had a smaller field. This this was a little too much, I'd say. What happens if I hire a worker? It's like nope. <laughs> that ain't working. <laughs> Figured. Alright, so it doesn't even let you uh, in-game hire a worker on this. Which I suspected. But 
I hope you guys are enjoying the map and hope you don't mind cutting grass because this is going to take a minute. Maybe a couple more than two. Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. Duan, I still love you. He is Scottish and Irish. There you go. That's what I would have said, too. He's both. I think we all have a little bit of everything in us. Horseplay will fix that problem. Says, oh, I know. I, I wish I had it installed right now. It'd be nice to just let this guy do his thing, and then I could go set up the uh, wind, you know, the tether and wind rower. Lesson learned. I was in a rush today, I'll be honest. My son's basketball game, went out to dinner. The minute I got home, I literally came up here. I didn't even have a screen sh like my thumbnail. I, I was way behind. Just ran out of time to get anything done today. I apologize. I'm sorry. Tried my best. It, I did not want to cancel again because I already canceled on Tuesday because I was feeling like garbage. Was that Tuesday or Wednesday? I was here yesterday, so it was Tuesday. But feeling much better. The worst thing is my hands. Whew, from digging that three-foot hole, my hands feel like someone just laid them on the ground and hit them with like a sledgehammer they are so they feel like they're bruised that's how bad they are that's from digging through like roots that were like this round chopping through them with a the shovel it was not fun and the body did not like it but I'm feeling a lot better it didn't lift down You're a bunch of mutts. No need to apologize. Real life happens. We love you. Out. I forget who said it on the when I made the post that I had to cancel on Tuesday. So I don't know who it was. Somebody's like another excuse or something. I was like, oh, you mother. But instead, I said I forget what I said. I said something friendly. Like another excuse. Yeah. Because a week ago, I had a sore throat, and streaming with a sore throat is just a dumb thing to do. It only makes things worse. Because as a streamer, I talk a lot. So if I got a sore throat, then I'm sorry. I'm probably going to cancel my show if I can't barely swallow or drink water or anything, you know? But yeah, somebody gave me a little lip, but I was friendly. You have some Martian in you. Some Martian in you. Oh, this is like the biggest field ever for this little tractor. I love this, this long grass texture, though. It makes it a lot more satisfying, doesn't it? Look at that. That is, that is so thick. That is some thick, stinking grass right there. Just chopping it down like a champ. With our little John Deere sickle bar. What's up, Adam McCaskill? Friendly Frosty. <laughs> I try. Sometimes my sarcasm gets the best of me, but I try to be friendly. so stinking hot in my man cave. What the heck? I had the AC set. Or maybe I forgot to set it. I was in such a rush. I think I forgot to set it to where I like it. Uh, let's see. Gonna need a bigger wind rower for this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the extensions for the New Holland one we have. I was telling you guys 
you can get uh, like a big crossbar and then put a wind rower on. You'll see. It, it'll at least double the production on the wind rowing. That'll be a nice purchase. Oh, we're almost done. And I have a crap load of hay. You, I think, at least what I've noticed, you always need more hay than you need silage for TMR. Usually, with the mixers I use for small equipment, it's like one silage bale, one and a half hay bales and a straw bale. And that usually fills up my smaller mixers I use. But we have a different mixer on this farm, so it's even... Well, it holds 8,000 liters, which I think is close to what the uh, smallest in-game mixer uses. So it should be pretty similar. You need bees, says Frank. No, bees don't work on grass. Yeah, the only thing bees are good for on this on this game is sunflower. Ah, crap. Sunflower, canola, and potatoes or sugar beets. There's only like three crops the bees are good for your yield. So yeah, it wouldn't help us at all for grass. And I don't think we're going to need much help on grass. <laughs> we got plenty of it. And we got a crap load of slurry, so we can always fertilize our fields with slurry. Any crop that flowers. Yeah, it says right in the game. If you uh, go to the menu... Or not the menu. If you, uh, where's it at? Yeah, if you go right down here and you go to animals, you go to bees. Oh, let's see here. Place your beehives next to fields as the bees will increase the yield of canola, sunflower, and potato fields. Honey will be delivered to the freely placeable delivery area. Bees do not appear in the animal menu. So the only fields that get a yield are those three. Canola, sunflower, potato fields. But if you're just wanting to make honey, it doesn't. I don't think it matters. You can put them anywhere. Put your little spawn point, and it will produce honey no matter what. But uh, those are the only fields that will give you a bonus yield. At least that's what they're saying in the game. Unless that's broken. Or false information from uh, giants. Maybe it, maybe it does work for other crops. I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is we got like three swipes and this is done for the hay side. And we'll cut that silage side. I don't know if we'll get to it tonight. Maybe. Maybe not. We already made five wrapped bales, so we got a head start on the silage. <laughs> round and round and round and round. And now that I'm seeing the size of this field only reason I bought this tiny, tiny equipment was because of that field we created tonight. Now that I see the size of this, we'll probably get rid of the sickle bar as much as I love this. It just, it's going to take way too long. So we'll probably upgrade to uh, like a medium-sized mower attachment. That would make a lot more sense, I'd say. Don't you agree? You think that would be a good idea? Right, we're gonna 
get him out of the way up here. Nice. Pop the fence, and now it's time to uh, get the wind rower. This is the tricky part. So we have this piece. We're going to need one. <laughs> yeah, let me see here. Wind rower. So we own this. That's the 258. I think we're going to need this. That's the opposite side. That's the 260. This is the roll bar. I think we just use stand. We'll go with standard. If I need to change it, I will. And then we need this. And we need the right side. Bar attacher. I think it's stand. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh crap! It's all down here. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna carry this stuff because it's a pain in the butt. We're gonna try to set this up real quick. I should have set this all up somewhere else. Um, so that goes there. Actually, I don't even know if I don't know if I need that. I think I could just hook up. Yeah, I do need that. Put the 258 there, and then the 260 goes on this side, I believe. So it'll be hooked up like that. I think. Probably going to jack it up. I'm not sure if we need this or not. Find out. <laughs> Don't you need to tether it first? Yeah, but I just want to get that situated real quick. How far can you place your spawn point from the bees? How far can you place your spawn? Uh, you can put your spawn point for the honey anywhere. It's you want to put your bee boxes close to whatever field you're trying to get the yield out of, like right up near it, you know. And uh, the better the bee box, like the bigger one, of course, you're gonna get, I think, more yield, but definitely more honey because you have more bees. I don't know if I hook this up right. I stick it though. This thing is a pain in the butt to operate. I don't, I don't, I feel like I don't even need this part. I'm gonna sit this right here for a minute. I don't, I don't think we need that. I think all we need is this. Yep. Hook that up. Hook that up. Hook that up. think that's all we need and then it'll bring it right to the middle but you can see why I didn't buy this attachment for in there we would have never been able to get in or out of there we might have trouble getting out of the farm actually so Let's see what we can do here I don't know. 
I want to I want to see to get it there says Frank thanks good to know says Abraham don't you need to tether it first we do what's up David she can dance that's mr. she can dance yeah, yeah. Hey. strike one strike two Oh my, we're not going to get out of here. <clears throat> these, these probably aren't going to work out for us. Just the way they're set up is not going to work. For this farm. Sadly. Yep, that ain't going to work. Nope. Well, son of a... Alright, we're going to sell everything. It was worth a shot, right? Sell. Sell. And we'll just have to buy an affordable different one because that's not going to work. Boom. 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 Wind rowers. A seven meter spread, 14 grand, 45 horsepower. I like it. I like it a lot. Very nice. Yep, that'll work for me. Wheel set up wide. We'll go standard. Perfect. Alright, cool. So we got that done. <clears throat> we'll uh, hook up to the Teda. Because we need to do that first. Nope. Do you put a tether in the middle of the long piece? I don't. No, I don't know. There's a tether doesn't come with that mod, so I don't think so. There's probably I don't I don't know. When I was on Westby map, I remember using that wind rower that we just sold, and I had it set up similar to what you just seen that didn't fit through the driveway there. And it worked fine. But yeah, I, I don't know what the over crossbar, maybe you can make it even bigger. I, I don't stink in that. Like even this is too small. Ugh. And this tractor keeps catching everything from way too high on the uh, attachment. So that tractor's out of the question. That tether is going to be too small. <laughs> as much as I like it, that those fields are too big, guys. I'm trying to uh, keep things moving along for you. That would take forever with that. Um, there's a Massey with 8.7. 2.8. 3.5. That's what I had. That's just not good enough. Uh, 6.1, 9 meter, 2.7. This one's 11,000 bucks. 6.1 meters, that's good enough for me. Old. We'll go with uh, Kubota orange wheels. $11,000. There we go. That'll work. And we'll use we'll use the uh, dudes. Nope, that's right, dead. Can't you spawn a big one out in the field and then stash it by the old car? Well, there's actually a bush by that old car, and you can't go through the bush. It's an indestructible bush. So it would just be sitting out in the field. Plus, I, I like storing everything in my uh, storage areas. I would forget that it's out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will be great. Six meters, that'll get the job done.
or we don't get runned over. Looks like this used to be some good storage. It looks like it got bombed or something. It looks like it's been annihilated. It's falling apart, mate. All right, we'll bring our, we'll bring our biggest tractor out here. <clears throat> I just can't believe how big that grass field is. After working on that little one we made, I, I figured they were all going to be pretty darn tiny, but I was wrong. All right. Flipping some grass, drying some hay. Beautiful. Not bad, not bad. What's up, mouse? thought I'd have an option. It, it's an option. It's a good one, Tony. Not a bad one. I'm just trying to stick to small to medium equipment. That darn farm is just so small and stuff. Yeah, this ain't bad. Six something meters spread. It's not bad. It won't take too long. Grass is so long. What do you think, chat? Too bad, huh? Has anyone made a horse-drawn implement mod? Yes, I have one. I have it installed, too. <laughs> it's a little glitchy, but yes, there is one. We used it on the Hofbergman map. Uh, we hauled grain with it. It had like a... You can pull it with a horse or a bull. It's pretty neat, different for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't turned on my system in probably a month. David, are you farmed out? I never get farmed out. <laughs> yeah, I don't get farmed out too much. Yeah, the uh, guy who converted old family farm from FS19 to FS22. He's the one that created the horse and cow drawn buggies and I don't know if I don't know if they do the implements other than the I'll show you here in a minute. Can't remember what all it does. But I know they can haul like a little grain trailer. An old wooden trailer. Lots of grass, lots of bales. Nice right. Getting to the frosty drone for a minute, eh? Be 
done before you know it. No, I've had a lot of uh, personal stuff going on, and my brain just hasn't been in it. Understandable. <clears throat> I'm glad you at least stop in. I appreciate that, buddy. Hope things get a little better for you. Less stressful, maybe. Now, with that double-length grass, do you think it will be regular or double? I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. Um, see all those little scattered pieces? Well, usually, like, the more scatter pieces you see, the less yield. Uh, this is a pretty thick cover, so I'm thinking we're going to get a, a good amount of bales. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind, like when you're bailing on farm sim, or when you're cutting grass. If there's a lot of patches, that's less grass you're picking up. That means the field's not... Well, I'm using precision farming, too. So if the field's in crappy shape, it's probably not going to provide as much grass for you. You got to take care of it, fertilize it. Occasionally, you got to put lime down on it. And uh, keep it in tip-top shape so you can get lots of bales. I'm still uh, curious what the new crops are going to be that Giants is adding. I am curious. Alright, we do not need to do any more tethering, so we'll bring this back to the farm and grab the wind rower. There you go. All tethered up. We own that grass field too. Nice! Probably should end up selling some fields. I'm still trying to catch streams, keep mind off. I know. I, I'm glad uh, you get to stop in when you can, buddy. David's been around here for quite some time. He watched me on Facebook, followed me over here. He's been here for quite a while, which many of you watching have. And I appreciate you guys sticking with old Frosty over uh, everything that's changed over the last, what, about a year now, I'd say? since we made the big swap from uh, Facebook to here. I do appreciate y'all continuing to support and uh, tune in all the time. It means a lot. All right. Took up to our handy dandy wind rower. I like this little dude's tractor. This thing's pretty sharp. I need to get a Lamborghini on this uh, farm, like Clarkson farm. All the small stuff and then just have a Lamborghini on here. Yeah! That'll be, that'll be what we save up for. A Lamborghini tractor. Alright. Yeah, like any bigger than this wind rower would have been just too big. This is just good enough to get in and out of the farm with no, uh, no issues. You're coming that way. Yeah, that's where I was full-time, uh, Paul. It just something happened uh it just got real bad and it happened to every well not everybody of course facebook has their handful of people they take care of pretty good but mostly everybody 
did not do very well on Facebook the last year or two. And it got to the point where it was like I either quit streaming altogether or I find a new place. So I did not want to quit streaming because I love it. So uh, we've, we've made our way over to YouTube, which I'm loving it. We've, we've had barely any issues over here. All right, let's try out our new wind rower. Going to get some nice pretty rows made so we can uh, make some hay bales. Dang, how fast this thing go? Seem a little fast. I ain't complaining. Gotta whip out my moves. <laughs> Seems like she's cooking. I'm gonna slow her down a little bit. I don't, I don't like going that fast. I'm gonna end up wrecking. There we go. That's better. It's more manageable. Most effective swath here. I'm hard to stay online. Oh, I didn't want to unfold you, Jack Whacker. Uh, I look forward to you coming live no matter what you're playing, Frosty. Thank you, Duan. You stinker. Do hands a little stinker, chap. <clears throat> is it me or does this map seem a little bright? It's not that I don't like it, it just seems very bright. Maybe it's just me. We're in the month of August. It's uh, 1230 in the afternoon, like lunchtime in the game. Just same, same stinking bright. It has custom lighting, says James. Okay. I don't mind it. I just noticed. It's definitely brighter than some of the other maps I'm on. That yeah, doesn't bother me, though. Just didn't know if anybody else noticed. Hard to see the hay, it's... but I'm, I've got bad vision anyway, and I'm hard of hearing, and I forget things a lot. <laughs> what else can I add to my list of problems? Uh, let's see, little brighter than normal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Little brighter than normal. Ooh, I like that banjo in the background. I got uh, folk music playing tonight. I really like this channel. It's on uh, Epidemic Sounds. It's quite lovely. Relaxing. I am really digging this tractor, man. I like it. We're gonna get some bales, I think. Quite a few. This is looking good. Ugh, don't hit the Massey. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Trying to make it look nice and organized. Am I doing all right? Go this way for a little bit. A little brighter. Can you walk straight? Actually, I have a little tilt. Uh, my one leg is just a hair shorter than the other, so I always got this little sidewalk thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Good stuff right there. <laughs> Growing up, like, people would say, oh, is something wrong? You're limping a little bit. It's like, nope. My one leg is just a little shorter than the other. That's all. Sure, I'm not the only one with a shorter leg. Isn't everybody's one leg shorter than the other? I thought that was like a actual thing. But that's my excuse for my my little uh, permanent limp that I have. <laughs> that's what I say. All right, final little chunk right here. And bada bang. Ba -da -ba -um. yeah, yeah. I'm going to move this over a little bit so it's away from the bush. And that should be fine. Very nice. We are going to need this again. Maybe not tonight, but uh, in the future when we need to make more wrapped bales. So I'm just gonna plop that bad boy right there. And we'll hop the fence, grab another tractor, and get the uh, the bailing done. We'll use the case. I might I might have to sell this. The way it keeps has anybody noticed the way this keeps uh, hooking up to stuff, it's high hooking everything, and I can't adjust that. I might have to sell the old New Holland as much as I like it. Because I want to be able to use that for multiple things, and it's just not... Uh, it's not taking care of us. So yeah, we'll sell it. Sadly. And uh, replace it with a different tractor. Let's see what we got out here. Uh, Brett Hollowbush coming in with the $20 super chat. That is Brett Hollowbush. Thank you so much, Brett, for the $20 super chat. I appreciate you, mate. Thank you very much. And, uh... Trying to fix something real quick. Dang it. View more. Maybe that's why my music always stops. That might be why. I don't have the show more thing popping up. Uh, thank you so much, Brett. I appreciate you, buddy. Jim Burns says, good job, Frost. On the cutting and windrowing, you lock that. It's not bad. I'm still here. Two plus years, says Chris. Yes, you've been here a long time. Uh, what's up, Tony? Hey, oh, yeah. Oop, there's a GeForce game ready driver available. If anybody's got NVIDIA, which most of you do, if you have a graphics card, there's an update. It just popped up. Uh, what was I doing? Getting a new tractor. I got sidetracked there. Thank you, Brett. I forgot what I was doing when you dropped that. I appreciate you, mate. Your voice is so calming. It is putting me to... Tony, that's not the first time you've said that to me, Daddy. All right, you're making me blush. All right, uh, let's replace the new Holland. I'd like to have a new Holland. This thing only has 60 horsepower, the David Brown. 82... I was tempted to get the Fiat. It's got up to 100 horsepower. I was tempted to get one of these. Ugh. No. I just don't know. These decisions are so difficult. Does anybody else have, when they play Farm Sim, do you struggle to uh, decide what to buy? Oh, that Ford. That, that old Ford we were looking at earlier. It's got 100 horsepower. Question is, 
Is that going to be a bear with hooking things up too? I might have to pass. Because I that was something I wanted for the planter, which you guys wanted the John Deere instead. I don't think that'll, that's not, I'm looking for something for bailing and all the, uh, a li just a little more power. We got 62,000 on us. There's this little guy for 32,400. It's an NH series TL 70. 70 horsepower. We could bump that up to 100 horsepower max for 38.4. So there's that. There's this one. About the same price. And then we have the 40 series Sebra. That's a pretty cool looking tractor as well. It's got the little slope nose on it. <laughs> Go with the Ford. Love the farm all. Farm all, farm all. My goodness, Fent. You don't want any blue on the farm? I kind of, I like having blue. That's the one we had. But uh, it had that high hook problem. So you want to farm all, huh? Because we already got the one case. It's only got 47 horsepower. 30 horsepower, that ain't enough. Yeah, it's not enough power. I need something to pull a baler. That's got nine, that's got 80. That's got 120, 110. I guess this one could handle it. Yeah, that one could handle it, I guess. Um, open station, flat top fenders, canopy, windbreaker, uh, the Hineker cab. Kind of like the open station, huh? Do the old side pipe. Attachers, weight bracket, five weights, 13 weights. Uh, we'll just do five weights on the front. Uh, the Fiat is nice. Blue, Heller, y'all. <laughs> Tell me. Okay, so James. We had two people. I don't know. What do you think, chat? I don't know. Get a farm all. Whatever. Farm alls are nice. And it's only 9100 bucks. That'll leave a lot of money left over. Heck, we could buy another tractor. There she is. Listen to this thing start up. You ready? That was sad. Can't barely hear it. But usually it sounds pretty good. Can this thing pull the baler? Yes, it can. It's got 110 horsepower. And it's a high riser one. So in that tall grass, we'll, we'll be able to see better. All right, hook up to the McHale. Head on out. Uh, Jason Landon. Thank you very much, Mr. Landon. Coming in with the $10 super chat says, hey, Frosty, I hope all is well for you and your family. You are a great streamer, and you're putting out great content. The time-lapse videos are great. Keep up on the great job you're doing here on YouTube. Thank you, Jason. Um, I've been loving doing that uh, survival series. Um, I'm going to try to uh, give you guys at least one week, once a week video on the time-lapse. And it's usually going to be posted on the day I take off, which is like Saturday or Sunday. And uh, the premiere thing was awesome. That was so cool, uh, having a live chat for a video. 
instead of a live stream. That was cool. So that's how I'll always do those. It'll be like a premiere. So we can all chit chat together while we're watching the uh, time lapse video. But yeah, I went ahead and <clears throat> did something different. Because I've done time lapse before in the past when it was, it was just straight up time lapse, the whole thing. And, uh, all right, we're going to start bailing. Uh, this time around for the survival series, I am doing commentary during the time lapse, which is quite nice. I liked it. I hope you guys liked it, too. A little different. All right, dang it. This stinking bailer, it doesn't beep. And that is a grass bale. That's because we were over 50% on the last field. So now it should all be... Hey, yep, we're good. Hey, bales for the rest of this uh, baling session. Yeah, I think any time you go past 50%, it'll uh, give you that type of bale. Ooh-wee, I thought we'd be uh, doing a little better, chat. We're not doing too hot so far on the bales. Come on, baby. All right, so there's a nice chunky hay bale there. Oh, look, it's all nice and fuzzy. Beautiful. The old farm all's doing good. Dang, we might have to turn that whole field into hay. Interesting. But uh, these swaths, swaths would be giving us a little more. Help if I knew how to drive straight. I don't have any front lights on this uh, farm, all guys. There's no headlights. Are you stinking kidding me? I ain't got no headlights, Daddy. And no beeper to alert me when the bail. Uh, this is this is chaos. How am I gonna survive with this baler? Are we gonna have to buy a different baler? I uh, should have put the fenders on so you can take the kids for a ride. Didn't think of that. I uh, got a bunch of people on the server hitting contracts. I'm off to bed though, buddy. Thank you for the great stream as always. John, have a splendid one. Uh, the North Carolina 24 seven map chat is expanding uh, faster than I, well, I knew it, I knew they'd be working hard on it, but it's expanding pretty darn fast. We've uh, purchased a pretty good size field next to the farm. And we have 30 cows. We, we bought the cow pasture property. And we've got, yeah, about 30 dairy cows, baling equipment, wrapper, little skid steer to handle the bales. Yeah, they've, they've been working hard. Getting her done. Did uh, Chris Smith end up joining the server? I don't know if he's watching anymore. He might have had to go to bed. But I think he said he almost had everything set up and ready. Chris Goers, have a good one, buddy. Thank you very much. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for that super chat earlier, buddy. Have a good night. See you on the next one. Right, now we're going to go back and forth. Now that we got the uh, two round swaths picked up. Yeah, this bay I'm not I'm not feeling this baler. It does not tell me when I'm done picking up a stinking bale. Like when I'm full. Hang on. Have to trade that in too. Well, 
One thing with mods. If you don't test them first, you don't know what you're going to get sometimes. <laughs> Making a good amount of bales, though. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I gotta get rid of this baler, chat. I'm sorry. Uh, once we poop out one more bale, <laughs> we will uh, sell it, spawn another one right next to us, and get back to working. Because it's just not doing it for me. I don't lock it. It's quite crappy. Do that whole swipe. Nope. All right. Say goodbye to this thing. It's nice. It looks awesome. That's about it. Sell. It's worth forty-four eight six nine. Um, spawn another one right here. All right, balers, balers, balers. We gotta just be careful on the uh, horsepower. Makes one eighty round. What did that one make? That made one and a quarter, so I want to try to stick to one and a quarter. That makes one and a quarter, but requires 150 horsepower. Seventy-eight thousand. Forty-eight thousand. Seventeen. See. I think that's the one we were using on another map, right? Still trying. Are you still downloading mods, Chris? They're all from the mod hub, which is a, a plus. Uh, we could get the class. It's cheap. It'll save us money, and it makes the uh, 125. Let's go with some white rims. Oh. Good, good purchase, I'd say. Saves us a bunch of money. Hey, Raw, let's get back to work. This one beeps. I used it on Ohio Richlands. What did we use this baler on? Oh, I bought this on the Survival Series. Yeah, I knew that thing looked familiar. So this is the baler that I just purchased on the Survival Series. I think. I don't stinkin' know. I can't remember nothing anymore. Uh, let's see. Lower pickup, turn automatic, drop on. Yes, sir, Bobby. It's lowered. It's ready to rock and roll. Cruise control. All right, she's working. A little class mixed with the farm all. I never hurt nobody. For 17 grand, hard to pass up. Nice cheap baler. There we go. About 80%. And this one should start beeping at like 90%. See? That's all I need. A little warning. There we go. It beeped for me. That way when I'm like doing other things and I'm like not paying attention, I can hear the little beep and I know it's time to stop. That's all. That's the only thing the Mikhail Baylor was missing. It wasn't telling me when to stop. We're all good now. Right. I 
nice load of bales. Little further. I'm going to turn the automatic drop off. That way it doesn't affect anything when I back up. <clears throat> Keep a little more momentum going. Ice Dragon, yeah, Ice Dragon, you made it into the farm. What, what's your overall opinion of the uh, the MP server? You like it? Oh, you have to literally. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's better actually. I like it like that. Maybe nice. Off automatic. I think we just finished the field, right? Yeah. And it's going to spit out one more hay bale when we uh, cut the other stuff. Stuff. Oh, We're doing a bunch of baling. Oh, how do, how do you like it, Jacob? You enjoying it so far? Because <laughs> I know you were... Uh, Unable to uh, join on Sunday. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest of this grass chat to make the wrapped bales. If that's all right with everybody, keep the hammer down, get this all done in one go. So, out of the way. digging this music tonight. I don't know if you guys hear it that great, but... Yes, nice, baby. I like it. Off we go. Uh, we're doing a bunch of bailing in the server, enjoying it so far. Like having something to work towards since we don't own much. And we didn't own much before you got in there. We've 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 gotten a little bit, but uh, today I went in and sold sixty thousand dollars worth of uh, flour from like our wheat and barley at the flour mill. Use that money to buy a square bale wrapper for our dairy cows. Yeah, it's slowly growing. It's pretty cool. Lori, how's it going, Lori? has made it for a second stream in a row. She's on fire! <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Glad you were uh, able to stop in. Yep, I mean, we came this far cutting that field. Might as well finish it, huh? And it'll be probably the last time we use this little cutter. We'll probably sell that. And, uh, Get a bigger mower for the a bigger tractor to handle. But it worked good tonight. It worked hard. It cut the grass on that first field that we turned into a wheat field. And it's cut this entire stinking field. That's a big field for a little sickle bar mower. So I'm very impressed with its performance. Too shabby. I was told you went on a little spending spree. Oh, yeah. But I think the guys on the server made over a half a million dollars and spent it all in about 30 minutes. I put in that new shelter, so we got 
three different shelters to store all the equipment in. Plenty of room. There's even room for a couple new things if we buy more equipment. Um, yeah, I bought, I bought a few little things. But it's all stuff that was needed. I didn't, like, waste any money. Upgraded that little green trailer to a grain trailer that, like, holds... 37,000 liters. Yeah, they were they were good investments. The final countdown. It's a nice little cutter. Maybe I'll keep that thing. I won't use it, but I'll keep it just as a memory. Of that time, we cut a ridiculous size field with it. Be like a trophy. A lawn, the grass cutting trophy. I love the sickle bar. Isn't that thing sweet? I do like that. Not bad. Works great. And you can, uh, when you purchase this bar in the store, you can change it to John Deere, Case, and Alice Chalmers, I think. I think it's got three different skins on it. Whew. I can't remember if 46 Mods made this or Rooster. I can't remember, dang it. So many, so many darn modders out there. I can't keep track who made what. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's a nice mod. We need a bale shredder. Already got one. It's that uh, Robert. It's the Robert one. The blue one. It's a, an attachment you put on the front or rear of your tractor. Shove a bale in it. And it shreds it and throws it into the uh, bedding area for the cows. Frosty drone. I need to work on some new stickers. I'm getting I'm getting bored of the old ones. I think you guys are too. <laughs> Not many people really use them to be, to be honest. So that either tells me we need different ones or people just don't really use them that much. I got one little chunk down here. But Frosty Drone, that'd be a decent sticker. I like using the Frosty Drone. These tires look bald. Look at that. Man, so close. Get her done already, Daddy. Come on. Get her done. My goodness. We got it. Good job. What a beast. Look at, you can even see the little chain link on there. Look at the detail. Got the chain, the cord, the gearbox. Jace. Even the little sp tightening spring there. So cool. I'm selling it, though. <laughs> We're getting rid of it. Let's repaint it for one dollar and sell it for 493 bucks. But if we wanted to customize it, here's what I meant. Uh, John Deere, Alice Chalmers, it's pretty sharp. And then uh, Case International. So you do have those three nice little options there. But yeah, we're gonna sell it. Oh, This tractor is done working for the day. Let's park him here for now. And let's get that 
All we got to do is wind row that and bail it. It does not need tethered because we're making silage bales out of this chunk of grass, this area. Right, activate lower. Bada bang, bada boom. Some delicious grass coming up. Yeah. Glad we upgraded the equipment. Small stuff. Little too small. We've made a hundred thousand back. Nice. Guys aren't uh, Stearman's been loving it. Yeah, Stearman's been farming like crazy. He, I think he got burned out a little bit. I don't know if he got burned out. He got hooked on uh, Flight Sim. And now I think he's back to being hooked on Farm Sim. <laughs> so he just kind of switched from one game to the other. Which is totally understandable. We all go through those little moments where we switch games. They're too small for my old eyes. Um, shredder. Straighten this out. It's got to be straighter for me. Good to switch up games now and then, says Mayo and Jello. Yeah. Yeah, I used to play a crap load of variety of games. And I'll be honest, sometimes I had no desire to play some of them. It was just for, uh, it was pretty much just to try to make you guys happy. Because, uh, for so long I thought, you know, I gotta play a variety. I like. I don't mind a bunch of different simulation games, but uh, I, I love farm sim, so I'm glad to finally just kind of zero in and focus on the game I love the most. <clears throat> it's made me happier. I don't know about you guys, but I've been a lot happier since not uh, wondering, you know, what game should I play this day, because I, I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying all the farming. Uh, we need a TMR mixer, not a bale sh Oh, is that what you're trying to say? <clears throat> is that what I bought? Did I accidentally buy a bale shredder? Is that what you're trying to say, Stearman? Yeah, if we don't need it, if I bought it by accident, just uh, sell it. You you have the power, Mr. Gumby, the manager. Yeah, just sell that. Make sure you repair it, paint it so it's fresh. And uh, just sell it at the store. The actual store to get the best price. And... Just get the small, the first, the small mixer to start out with. That's good enough. My bad. I must have bought the wrong one. Dang it, Bobby! I bought the wrong baler. Crikey! All right, that looks good. Now we just gotta pick up, bale all that grass. That won't take long at all. <clears throat>
see if that works. I haven't used this in a while. All right, I'm gonna have this guy uh, follow me. I don't know what his name is, but he looks like a nice dude that's ready to follow me. We're gonna clean up our messes here. All right, ready? Come on, baby, bring it on down. It's the good old follow me mod. There he goes, following me. like it's working all right so far. There we go. How long you been live for, Frosty says Scott? We have been live for three hours and 48 minutes. That's right, baby. Yeah, I want to get those. Uh, I just decided to finish that entire field. I was going to just make hay bales and call it a night. But, uh, I mean, it wasn't that much grass. It was like, might as well do the whole thing. All right, as long as there's no oncoming traffic, that guy should be all right. Oh! I see he's got a car behind him now, so we'll see what happens. Oh, he's all right. There's our farm. See if he follows behind us here. I love those stone fences are awesome. All right, hired worker, is he gonna get T-boned? No, he made it. All right, he made it, chat. Safe and sound. Good stuff. <clears throat> Where the heck am I gonna park this big boy? Ooh, I can park it right back there. Anybody notice how difficult it is to back up a wind rower in this game? The way the tires move so quick. They like pivot real fast. Pain in the butt. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate you uh, helping me out there. Thank you very much. Dismiss him. Saves me driving back and forth. Uh, going to bed late, man. All right, Bradley. Peace out. So what do you mean? You're, you're going to keep farming and go to bed late, or you're going to bed late now? Or you're going to bed? What are you doing? What are you talking about? You're probably still farming. Bradley's been farming like crazy. I'm going to need to get a portable... Something to wash my vehicles with. All right, I need your help, chat. Do we go with the American Garden hose that I can fit in my pocket? Or do we go with a more modern go with a wireless pressure washer? 5,000 for the wireless pocket pressure washer. Or $55 for the American Garden hose. You tell me. Yes, you almost have to predict where it's going to go, says Stephen. You have to. Uh, do Ann Baker, pocket hose. <laughs> How can I play anything else when you spend all the money in five seconds? They were good purchases. I'm sorry. <sighs> all right, Do Ann says pocket hose. He's the only one that said something. So I'm buying a pocket hose. There we go. And there's my little pocket hose, 55 bucks. Can't beat that. Spray off my dirty Massey. Didn't sound right, but it's what it is, a Massey. Got a little bit dirty. I gotta remember there's milk in the back of those barrels. Uh, here, here's the uh, bale shredder here right here for this map that's the one i'm using so you just throw a bale in there and bada bing bada boom it spits straw out real nice really nice 
I do need to head back to the field with this to pick up bales, so. We're heading right back. I'll be honest, this might be my favorite tractor tonight. I like the way it sounds. It looks cool. I don't know if you noticed, it has the uh, Asaria Pro uh, precision farming units on the mirrors there. But whatchamacallit's the sensors. I, I had those installed. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. It's butter now for all the shaking. That's right, Frank. $55, Brandon. Can't beat that. That's actually a little pricey for a garden hose in real life. I would not pay that much. Oh. Oh, crap. <clears throat> I need a new hose nozzle. I noticed the uh, when I was putting water in the cement, a concrete mix earlier this week. The uh, noz somebody did something to the nozzle. Probably one of the neighborhood kids stepped on it or rode their bike over it. But the whole thing's all mangled up. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one. <laughs> all right, let's get the hay bales picked up. a weird way to pick up bales. Well, now nah, I guess you would load them up that way. Yeah, never mind. That makes sense. I was kind of hoping it would load it the other way, so all I got to do when I get back is back in and throw them on the ground. But this is a bit different, eh? <clears throat> Alright, is that all the... I think it's going to throw out one more hay bale. Because this one's at 54%. Alright. That's fine. Look at that. It's, it's the same dates we have on my family's farm, says Andre. Is that, do you really? It's awesome. Yeah, that thing's cool. I like I like the, uh, the European tractors. I think they're quite lovely. So this will spit a hay bale out. I think. Yep. I'm just going to hurry up and pick that up. don't really want to mix the two style of bales, keep things organized back at the farm. We got 12 bales out of the, uh, the hay area. Very nice. Very nice. Transporting position. I just want to test this real quick, see what happens. So it's one of those where you do that. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. They just do that. You drop them. 
So that's how they'll unload in the uh, shelter. I guess, I guess that's all right. I reset Baylor. Let's load them all up real quick. All right. So I'll probably have to get a spike. I'll get a spike to handle these, you know? Technically, I don't need that bale grabber anymore. That was just for that that little field we created. I'll be doing it like this from now on anyway. So yeah, we'll probably sell the little silage bale wrapper thingamajiggy uh, because once they're fermented, you take the plastic off anyway and use a spike to uh, just pick it up. So, Oop, I was driving down the wrong side of the road. We're not in America, but Ireland. And I don't think it lets you switch the side. It's also kind of poopy doopy. That's all right. bales. Reset baler. So each bale is 4,500 liters. Not bad. That's a good amount of bales for hay bales. So if we go into my uh, little, whatchamacallit, uh, time saving stock check, that means we have 49,500 liters of hay. Very nice. Very nice. And since all this uh, farming we've done tonight, this is at 13%. Those will be ready after I fast forward a day in the game. It'll be beautiful. That'd be nice. Right, cool. You can also lower them before you hit unload. Uh, then they won't scatter. Yeah, it wouldn't let me lower it. I've used others that are like that, where it lets you lower it to the ground. That one, it just kind of stayed where it was, but it would let me go side to side. Because I use uh, the Rollin pack and that... Ah, what's that other one? They're like green. Can't remember the name of the other one. But yeah, the, the Rollin pack I've used a ton. Hey, what's all the traffic? Is it rush hour? It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. Like five cars going by. Oh, wait, Granny. Oh. Yeah, the Rollin trailers are way too big for this map. But that's my favorite uh, auto bale trailers, I think. I have that set up on the, uh, the server for the tier three guys. All right, finish our bailing here. Got grass bales to Mike. We already got five silage bales in storage. So whatever we get out of here is bonus. 
There's one. This little farm all feels a little out of place. Ponch. That's it, Stevenson. I knew it started with a P. I'm surprised I remembered that. Ponch. Yeah, they're like green trailers. Uh, Ponch and Roland are both on the mod hub. Nice trailers. I might have them installed, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, bale loaders. Oh, I got Cresetto. That's another nice one. I think we're using this guy right here. The single axle lizard. Yep, Ponj, right there. A little too big for this map. See, too wide. Too, it'd be hard to make turns. And then there's the Rollin. Those are, those are my favorite ones there. You can hold 28 bales. I use that on Ohio Richland. I think. No. Ohio Richland, I use this. The DPW. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right, back to work, sorry. Sorry. I got excited and wanted to explain. Hi, Lori Blitzer, you still here? Can't stay awake, night. Sleep tight, sleep tight. I'm surprised you're still in here. I thought, yeah, it's bedtime. Have a good one, Lori. Smells like upchucks is Vambuski. Nah. Smells like grass. We've been cutting tons of grass tonight. This stinking baler, 17 grand. That's a steal. Balers are not cheap. That one is. Ooh, I forgot to row a chunk right there. I'm a darn. <clears throat> How's uh, old man Van Booski doing tonight? I wonder if Fire Slane's in the doghouse. He never said nothing after I <laughs> after I talked about uh, Miss Firesland coming home to candlelit dinner and rose petals leading to the hot bath after a 12-hour shift. Never heard a comment from Mr. Firesland after that. He's either in the doghouse or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, dream sweet and sour pickles. Blech. I hate pickles. <laughs> Blech. Same with uh, Harvard beets. Blech. Beets and onions and ugh, I just I can't handle it. I cannot handle it. Yeah, pickles, the smell of them. Sauerkraut. Woo! Sauerkraut makes me cringe. The smell of that vinegar. Woo, man. I'm I, I don't feel like I'm picky, but those type of smells and tastes. I just I'm fragile when it comes to some type of foods. Ugh, gosh. Can't do it. Cannot do it. Well, we're getting more bales out of this section than we did that whole other field we started the stream out with. That's good. Wasn't sure if it'd be good or not. I could live off pickle juice. I absolutely hate beets. Ugh. I remember growing up as a little boy, um, my mom was the type, when it was dinner time, you eat what mom makes. If you don't eat it, you sit there until bedtime. So anytime the Harvard beets got slapped on the dinner table, I knew I'd be sitting there till bedtime because I was not touching it. So that would be my day. Go to school, come home, beets for dinner, sit at the table till bedtime, go to bed. 
horrible, gross, disgusting, until I got older, a teenager, and I was like, you know what, Mom, I don't want that. All right, I guess you're old enough to decide for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Never putting that stuff near my face, ever. All right, we're good. 54% for next time. Holla. I'll see if uh, Mr. Baylor boy will follow me back. Actually, a little bit of grass right here we can pick up. I think that's grass. Is that grass? Yep, there's a little chunk right there. All right, now we're good. Operating position. Off we go. What's up, Chuck Tyler? Got Chuck Tyler in the house, everybody. How's it going, buddy? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang! Did we just make seven? Ah, fudge nuts. We gotta wrap all these. I forgot about that. That's okay. Yep. Forgot we got to wrap them. <laughs> Beets taste like a bite out of your front lawn. I, I think I'd rather eat the front lawn. <sighs> Forgot about that. Yeah, see, it won't let me lower them. It'll let me put them high in the air, but this is as far low as I can go. Right here, it won't go. It won't go all the way to the ground. All right, unload bales here. Reset bale position. I'd bring them back to the farm, but there's just not a whole lot of room at the farm, so we'll go get the wrapper. We had two choices, eat it or go hungry. Yep. So I'd go hungry when there was beets. <laughs> you got them grass bales right there on the trailer. You also got a grass belt on that last load that you took back. Got that right, Big J Farmer. Uh-uh. No, I picked it up. I picked it up. What you talking about? Mm -mm. I got that all organized. I think. You're probably right. Uh, <laughs> raw onion. I don't like cooked onions, raw onions, lukewarm onions, bath water onions. I don't like any type of onion. And my wife loves onions. Ugh. She'll eat like something with onions in it and come in for a kissy, and I'm like, no! Get away from me! Here's a tic tac. She gets mad too. She's like, you're not gonna kiss me? I'm like, mmm. Not until that onion thing goes away. Mm -mm. Oh, brushy, brushy. <laughs> oh, crap. What's your favorite vegetable? Ah, uh, chocolate. <laughs> no, I like uh, I like corn. I like green beans. And mm, that's about it. That's about it. I don't mind tomatoes, but they gotta be on something. Like a sub or a, a BLT, some type of sandwich. I don't eat, I, I, I'll even eat like diced tomatoes on a pizza, like baked in the oven. I like that, but I don't like just a plain tomato. Some people can just dice a chunk and eat it. My grandfather used to uh, slice up tomatoes and put it in a bowl of milk and eat it. 
so gross to watch, but he loved it. That was one of his favorite little snacks. What the heck you doing, Grandpa? Crazy. Nasty. But I bet someone in the chat probably does that, huh? Dar Baylor. All right, I'm going to check that. Uh, who said that? Big J Farmer. You better hope you're right. Yeah, these are all hay. Hey, grass, you son of a... What? Where the heck did that grass bale come from? I'm going to smack you, silly. What? Hmm. That's frustrating. He was right. Dang it. All right, let's unfold this and uh, we'll wrap this one. of a stinker. You're right. Garden green beans are probably one of my favorite food. Yeah, garden ones are great. Uh, Chris Smith is on PC. Yeah. When downloading mods, my power went out and now I won't restart downloading mods. It just says pending any advice. Ugh. Um... I don't know. Um, I don't know. The first field says Frank. Oh, is that from the first field? I ate my Wheaties. I can lift that, all right? It's only 3,500 liters. Only weighs 620 kilograms, which I think we found out earlier tonight is... About a thousand twenty pounds. <laughs> Just lifted about a ton there. Is that right? Restart and download. Yeah, restart the game and re-download. That's what I would. That's what I'd probably have to do if that happened to me. Anytime something weird happens on Farm Sim, first thing I always do is just restart. Yeah, that's the best route to go. Maters are good, cold with salt and dipped in mayo. Whatever you say, Joe. That's what you believe. Alrighty then. So what was that? Six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen wrapped bales is what we'll have in total. It's not bad. Should have known that was going to be a problem. Come on, fart knocker. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> there, is that scattered enough? Ace. There we go. <clears throat> Nuclear salmon. Uh, bend the knees. That's right. Bend the knees. That'll that'll fix it. Uh, veggies for me. I like potatoes. I for I always forget a potato is a vegetable. Those are those are good. I do like potatoes. French fries. Uh, tater tots. Scallop potatoes. Hash browns. Home fries. Crinkled fries. Yeah, the list goes on and on. Most of my family can eat tomato and mayo sandwiches. Nope. Out of here. Or not me. Miss Frosty might be able to do that. 
I have not watched farming in a while. What farm are you on tonight? Bally Spring. It's based in Ireland. It's an Irish map made by Irish Connor. Pretty cool map. It's a, a small style map. Uh, very small roads with uh, stone fences. I, I love the uh, the environment. It's very nice. Got a little pond out there with a couple guys fishing. Uh, ma mainly focused on dairy farming. That's what I feel like it is. Uh, the map is pretty good size. The actual whole map. Lots of grass. Which, that's... Ireland has a lot of grass. There you go. There are some crops out there. But, uh, lots of grass. And we own plenty of it. I don't need all that grass. That's too much grass for me. <laughs> but yeah, we own grass. And we created a wheat field to provide ourselves with straw. For our TMR operation. Yeah, nice little map. <clears throat> you need a good Irish accent. I tell you, I'm... Yeah, wait a minute. <clears throat> hey, Conor McGregor, best fighter out there. You think you got what it takes to beat me when it comes to rapping some bales? Knock you out. Knock you right out. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. You think you got something? I got a case, far more case, international. You ain't got nothing on me. I wrapped these bears around you like, like uh, Muhammad Ali did around the ring there. I'll smack your teeth out. How's that? I do enjoy bacon and eggs in the morning. <clears throat> That's nothing to do with vegetables, Bill. You must have just came into the conversation. <laughs> Beef, taters, mac and cheese. Yeah, none of that's a vegetable. Uh, except the taters. I guess the taters are. Uh, let's see. Okay, Forrest, now you're just making me hungry, says Joe. I know, I was thinking of that too when I was going on. Sound like Bubba. Got shrimp scallop, shrimp scampi, shrimp mayo, shrimp name it well. Alright, so that's all done. Beautiful. Get these all loaded up. That'd be nice. Uh, operating position. That was a big stinking field of grass. My goodness. Most of our time was uh, spent using the sickle bar. That was that was a little painful. I apologize. But, uh, had to be done. I guess it didn't. I could have sold it a long time ago, but I, I decided to just keep using it. Alright, who's our helper now? Oh, that kind of looks like Van Boski. That kind of looks like Van Boski there. He's got his little Fu Manchu. He's looking alright. Alright, follow me back to the farm, daddy. We're going back to the farm. Don't get stuck. Right, is he following us? What the heck's going on here? There he is. Nice little mod when you're playing single player. Follow me. I can't tell you that it works properly all the time, but most of the time it does all right. Uh, when you got AI traffic involved and when you drive too fast, that usually results in a not very good experience with Follow Me. But all in all, very good mod. There he is. We made it. Nice. Yeah, sometimes when you go too fast, they just kind of lose track of where you went and they just stop.
All right, we got to be uh, just gonna unload on the one side. Gonna be interesting how I get these in here. <sighs> I wish they were loaded the other way, you know. I don't like how they're loaded. This like usually they're upright. That's all right. Bambuski dismissed. Get out of here. I don't need your help no more. Get. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, we should be able to, will it let me slide it to the other side? You guess we found out. Oh, son of a turd head. <sighs> Forgot to turn off the auto load. You punk. That is not what I wanted to do. Now it's all mixed up. Good job, Frosty, you fart head. <clears throat> Am I too hard on myself? I don't know. All right, unload bales. Ace. I guess if we shove them right here. I can maybe get in from an angle. Probably not. I don't know bunch of crap all right reset bail operation <laughs> I jacked that up didn't I uh, we'll just manually move them I ain't going through all that hassle Yep, I ain't going through all that mess. <clears throat> I don't like the way those... Yeah, I, I don't know if I like that trailer. I don't like it. It's not nice. Get in there. Uh, dirty, no good chicken liquor. That's right. Are you getting all twisted around? Yes, I am, Chuck. I accidentally left it on and it sucked them all up. Is it a PC mod only? Which one are we talking about, Lucas Smith? I'm using tons of mods. What are you talking about? Uh, if you wouldn't have sent me home, I would have been able to help you. Uh, we got Mark Smith coming in as a brand new Jack Whacker level two. Come on down, baby. Mr. Bean says, thank you, daddy. You're going to enjoy some special time with Big Rig Frostein. You know what I'm saying? No, not like that. Don't take it that way. Thank you, Mark. Welcome to Jack Whacker Level 2. Appreciate the support to the channel, sir. All right. Almost got these sorted. Yeah, what are you, uh, what are you talking about, Lucas? That's a loaded question. I, I got... 600 mods so <laughs> gotta oh follow me mod yeah pc anything that's good just consider it a pc mod all the good mods are on pc i'm sorry buddy this is not gonna happen on the, <laughs> the good stuff ain't on the console you get all that lizard stuff that <laughs> everybody noticed that Everything for consoles, lizard. I got the lizard F-150 pickup truck. <laughs> I got the the lizard this and that and lizard trailer and lizard lizard. Everything is a lizard on console. Ugh. But that's how it is, I guess. I didn't want to have to load them like this in here, but that trailer's a turd. I'm gonna, I might get rid of that and try to find one that's upright, that's small. Um, Steerman, or yeah, Steerman, if you're still listening, 
or you might not have even tried it yet. That the little Strotman trailer we have on the Carolina map. It's auto load for bales and pallets. Have you or anybody that's on the server right now, have you tried picking up bales with it? Never mind. We have a square baler. Never mind. So that wouldn't matter. Never mind. Dang it. Yeah. Wish there was a way to customize it to change the way it holds the the bale. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> it's okay. All right, cool. Bailing's done for the night. Yeah, just put a big B in front of the lizard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Frosty hit the, the OF channel. Uh, timber falling, failing bales. I know, I stacked them three high. That's all right. Trying to make space. I don't know where to park this for now. I guess shove it right there. I don't know. Beacon off, shutter down. Get this all put away and parked up. How long we been live? Holy moly, four hours and 29. My goodness. I didn't realize it was that late. My gosh. Been live for four and a half hours. Dang it, Bobby. Wow. Really didn't realize I was on that long. <laughs> uh, let's see. Stand them up. If you wouldn't have sent is it a PC, I'll be on your six. Most of your time was spent trying to load the cedar. Yes, that too, Frank. That too. Did we get everything uh, put away pretty much? I think so. I just want to check what it says about the uh, soil here. No data found. Well, this is a stinking field, isn't it? Farmland. Oh, there it is. Purchase soil. I already did. Right. Interesting. So that's also silty clay. pH is down. Nitrogen's down. All right, cool. So uh, next time I'm on this map, I don't know when that'll be. Uh, next time we're on, we'll throw slurry down. We'll have to do some... Uh, Lime, which that little Kubota lime spreader is not going to work. <laughs> that thing ran out so quick on the other field. And this is like four times the size. But yeah, we'll be liming, stone slurry on here. Probably skipping a month. Let the uh, bales ferment. That's a wrap, chat. I'm done. I'm tired. I didn't realize I have been on for four and a half hours. So that's it. The cows do have food, so you don't have to worry about them. They're taken care of. And uh, after we fast forward a month, next time we're back here, uh, it'll probably be ready to feed them. Park at the old house here and call her a night. Here we go. And we also got chickens we'll have to maybe buy some chicken feed for next time. <clears throat> Food in the bowl for Sparky. That's it, chat. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, I like that map. Pretty cool. What do you think? What's your overall opinion of this map? It's called Bally Springs. It's uh, based in Ireland. I like it. I like it a lot. Spent a lot of time creating that field right there. And then uh, that big grass field took up the rest of the show. <laughs> 
Uh, good night, Mouse. David, she can dance. Thanks for hanging out. Hello and good night, Justin Vanderford. Make it tremor. Good night, Frank Barton, Chuck Taylor, David, she can dance, and Mouse, and Joe, and David, and Brandon. Uh, Vambuski. Peace out, brother. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you haven't yet, smack that little like button on the way out if you want. You don't have to, but, you know, it helps out. I'd appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? i lower myself right there. Right there in the corner there. That's where I belong. You know what I'm saying? But have a good one, guys. Stevenson, love the map. You like it? Uh, good night, Kathy Hogan. Looks pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, night Frosty says Elizabeth in chat. Have a good one, Elizabeth. That's going to do it, chat. We did break 200 reactions, so I do appreciate that. Very nice of you. Yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I'll, what's tomorrow? Friday. Keep an eye on the community tab. Not 100%. Not 100% what's going on tomorrow night. But should be good. But I'm not 100% sure. So just keep an eye on the community tab in my uh, YouTube channel, Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Have a great night, everybody. Mark Smith, hope you get that all figured out. Or not Mark Smith, I'm sorry. Mark, thank you for becoming Jack Whacker leveled. We got a lot of Smiths in here. We got Lucas Smith, Mark Smith, Chris Smith. I'm getting Smith confused. Uh, but have a great one, all the Smiths, too. <laughs> See you later, guys. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Goodbye.